All right, we're here for another King of the Hill at the Mad Apple Burger and Billiard Company, Appleton, Wisconsin. So cool. I'm sitting here next to Mason, the Stone Mason, Mm -hmm. Cook. Hello, everybody. And I am Chris G. We should change those names. Dumb man. The Tool. No, 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 no. Wrong side, wrong side, Chris. That one's better, but I still don't like it. I think demand is is uh, what I'll call you. Demand. Yeah, demand. <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess we'll give them the thumbs up. Oh, they went anyway. They know what they're doing. We'll switch over. They got a leg for the game choice, and then they got a leg again for who breaks. Win or break? It's a close one. Yeah, your dad nine was practicing ball got that. It a little bit. You're going nine ball. So what is that a race to? Race to 20. 20. Yes, sir. Got a race to 20. Yep. We will see uh, the longest race that we've got. Thanks, Phil, for the share. Do appreciate it. We definitely want to get this out there. It's our uh, big, big night, King of the Hill. Those might be wondering. And, you know, there's, there's not enough viewers here to probably explain it yet, so we'll probably have to explain it again. But Frog will be back next week. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, that sounds good. Keep it simple. Yep. So we uh, we worked on the audio a lot. So, you know, let us know if there's any issues. Uh, if it's not coming through clear. Yada, yada. Here goes the lag for the first break. Oh. Uh, wow. Wow. And Gray got it this time, so he's the winner of the first break. Hey, Fred Renner, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. Patrick Glenn with the like. Patrick Glenn stopping in to say hi. Appreciate it, Pat. Hey, are you coming Sunday? A share from Patrick also. Thanks, buddy. And it's not just Patrick. It's Patrick M. Glenn. Yeah. Mr. Sharpstick. (laughs) (laughs) i wonder if i use that a little too much it'll probably get old right yeah yeah all right all right so what do we got here today we got a race to 20 nine ball 250 each 500 in the middle Mm -hmm. gray's got tons of support friends family i do remember last time we did this he was king for i don't know a couple weeks um, oh, yeah. Good, good, good guy. Viewers. He's like, a good guy. Uh, unbelievable how many friends he has. Easy to support, yeah. Not the best spread no. for the first break. You got a couple balls down. One ball down. Yeah, if we take a look at the overhead, brought to us by Ericsson Auto Trim. Yes, that's a new on onboard player. New sponsor. Yep. Yeah, not a, I don't know. Not a real good shot. Looks like uh, opting for push out. That or I thought he might shoot it straight in the pocket. Just kidding. I knew he would. That'd be an interesting one. PBR. Thanks for the share, man. See, like how he did that? <laughs> Drills the one. First shot, bank shot. With a quick fire. Jacob says Kendall's going to crush. I think Gray's taken. (laughs) Sorry, Jacob. How you doing, man? You're not here for the 10 ball weekly. Yeah, man. Yeah, where where are you at? I feel like the camera's in a weird spot. Yeah, it looks a little uh, little tilted there. I don't want to sit too close to you. That a little better. Oh, these chairs are so comfortable. Yeah, I know. First time being up here with that. Love it. I could sit here for hours. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a huge upgrade. Yeah, you haven't been up here since the new chairs. No. Yeah, it's been a while. Ah. The Jeff Tishawa. <laughs> yeah. 
I hear uh, pool nights at his place are pretty good. A lot of maybe three ball, dollars all over the place, a lot of fun, a lot of heckling. Mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy pool. It's the way to do it. It's decent shape on the six. A little 50-yard line, but I feel like he'll probably draw, just kind of pop that six in, hold it for the nine. Nothing on YouTube. Well, that can't be possible. You know, I think you're right. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we do got to change the names. Thanks, Pat. Let me do that and then worry about YouTube. We might have to restart the stream. I mean, how is that even possible that it didn't start on YouTube? Like what? How does that work? No wonder. No wonder we don't have 800 viewers. Usually it jumps right up to like 80, 90, and I was like, yeah, this is a little lower. Right. All right. Bye bye. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let me check. <laughs> bye bye. Step back. It's there. Hmm. Peculiar. I wonder if it's not set to public. Your dad, man. Ne- never have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's unlisted. There we go. So if I go public, it should just automatically go out to everybody's phone. All right. So another dry break. No shape on the two ball. Uh, decent Stirred. try on that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, there we go. Hey, thanks for the notice there. Oh. <laughs> Got an <laughs> ad. Yeah, uh, the Facebook was started under the OS, so I shared the YouTube under the uh, you know Mad Apple Extreme Facebook page, and now the YouTube went out there and sent a message to everybody. So. That should work out nicely. Oh, yeah. Yep. Then we don't have to restart anything. Sorry about that. A hey. like from Sandy. Thank you. Thanks, Patrick. Got the message. Patrick Glenn with the tool. Streaming on the tube. Thanks, man. All right. So I can close that. Who, who was it that mentioned that? JJ? JJ Walker. Thanks for the notice. Yeah, it was set for unlisted. We had to change it to public. It's tough to click all the right buttons, I guess. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're done with that. So now we got to change the name of the uh, the commentator's booth. This is like a dynamic thing. It just keeps on moving. And right. Like, right. There's, there's always something to fix, something to change. All right, let's see what we got here. Huh. comment of gray winning by four i don't know about that one that's gonna be a tough one any uh more predictions in the comments am i on the left or the right i'm on the right side yeah okay All right. There we go. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks for keeping us in line again. Takes a village. Oh, yeah. Nice bank shot by Gray. Wow. They're both banking. The banks are open. This table is playing great tonight. Yeah, I mentioned... uh, to Gray that we've got our bank pool tournament 
coming up. He should in, definitely join that. In remembrance of uh, Larry Backus. So that's a great event. And uh, off that bank, he should definitely sign up. See, I, I didn't know Larry. I've heard of him. But I took 20 years off. And, you know, I missed a whole lot in that 20 years. Yeah, I uh, I knew him, but I was pretty young. I think Patrick's being funny now. He says, all the balls on the table look upside down. If you can fix that, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. How about no? <laughs> that one was for you, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> this one goes out to Patrick Lynn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we didn't we didn't put up the ropes either. <laughs> Someone just walks right in front of his shot. Yeah. Well, you know, Gray's playing amazing right now. He's got, I think he's going to be up two zero in a race to twenty. I don't yep, want to jinx I agree. him. I agree. Connie, Con. thank you, thank you for the like. How well, do we sound? By the way, we got this new soundboard. We tried to tweak it, make it. A little crisper. Our uh, bank pool tournament will be on the 12th, 13th, one of those days. And whatever, we whatever day lands on the on the weekend there. Let's take a look at that. So it's there called it the Lucky Bastard. Yes. Bank pool tournament. Yeah, we ran them every year at the Magnet when uh, my dad was the owner there. And uh, I'm really happy to see it here up at Mad Apple. Yeah, I'm glad it's coming back. And I'm going to play in it. And I, you know, I only do single banks. So it's not like I'm going to be some kind of revolutionary player. But you know what? If you can make, like, what, five single banks, you win still. Yep. Yeah, so. it's a good game for everybody. So sign up online. MadAppleBilliards.com. Excellent break. Although... Is dry again. Let's take a look at the layout. One ball does go, maybe not. And we had a question here about uh, Kendall playing two. Uh, if he lost last week, is that fact? I don't know. Wouldn't it be two new people? Ah, no, Kendall didn't play. He, um, it was. Um, well, who was it? It was Frog and Craig? Yeah, right. And Something. So Frog couldn't make it this week, so he's just taking a week off. He loses his uh, consecutive wins, but he'll be back next week. Kendall did take on Frog as a challenge match. And beat him, right? Well, it was kind of a one match to each. Oh, okay. So Frog won the first match, and then Kendall came back strong. Okay. And crushed the second match. Yeah. That's also on YouTube if anybody's bored. Uh, there was no commentary, so we just threw some jazz and some music in the background. Nice. But also, I mean, uh, if anybody's interested in playing, uh, go ahead and sign up. Go to madapplebilliards.com. I think we've got that all set up now. King of the Hill, sign up on the website. Well, let's hope so. If not, I think what Kendall usually defaults to is uh, go to the Quick Fire Facebook page, and there's a yes. post in there that says, here's the Google form. All you do is you just fill it out. Right. That's all it is. It's just an online form. You fill it out, and you're good to go. You're you're on the list. Yep, Patrick. Kendall challenged Frog. Kendall didn't play in the King of the Hill. Kendall hasn't played in the King of the Hill for a while, either of you. I know. I, I was considering, uh, and then I knew that my dad was challenging tonight so i'll be up soon oh yeah fine on it yep the king's list is short there's not many people out there challenging the best of the best yeah gray and i were just talking about that earlier before the match we had our own opinions on it and uh we'd love to see people come on out he can't he can't comprehend why anybody wouldn't he loves it oh yeah so much fun he has a lot of support out there too yeah he's he's great good guy if I remember correctly, he played in the past, and he had so many family members chatting, chiming in. Uh, he kept it really fun, really light. Yeah. A lot of support. There were super chats. There was 
I mean, donations to the junior program. I mean, he has a huge following. Yep, very cool. And just kind of getting back into it. So we'll see him play more and more. <laughs> Good old Patrick. Yes, we have a soundboard now. It's not real. I don't know. It's not really a soundboard. It's just a maybe just a cleaner mixer. You know, when you go to Guitar Center and you're looking for something and you walk out with something else, you know the sales guy got you. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of fun. We should have filmed it. Yeah, like, like that would have been good. Like a vlog style. Yeah. Like, yeah, you, it really would have been because we were like ranking out each other and the salesman was giving your dad some crap. And yeah. It was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, little old Chris G just sitting there like <laughs> not having to spend the money. Right. But kind of out on a shopping spree. Right. Ended up going to Guitar it's Center. like your dad took you to the yeah. store to buy you something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, can I get ice cream too? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you're the coolest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we ended up cleaning house quite a bit, so it's, yeah. it's a nice Yeah, thanks upgrade. for the work, man. That's good. Well, you know, we want to keep improving, right? Yes, we do. don't want to just get stagnant. and You know, there's not a lot of people doing this, so we got to keep innovating. Yeah, and tons of support. Thank you, everybody who tunes in every week and 100. Yep. is, is on you. support for Mad Apple Extreme, so we love it. So Gary asked the Banks tournament. We went through that. Anthony's here for the sound effects. Sorry, Anthony. What I can't get go a, too crazy. Did he get a tip or what? He figured that out ahead of time? Or? Uh, I, this might be a little past. Yeah. Connie says it sounds great. Thank you. I'll do well in the Banks. Well, I'm going to try. You know, I always want to support anything that, you know, has some kind of a charitable aspect to it, or at least it's fun. It's just, you know, it's not just competition and everyone's mad at everybody, you know. It's just you got to have a good time once in a while. Chris Banks kind of, like, supports your gangster mentality, too. Well, you know, I'm repping, you know, uh, Waukegan, Zion, Illinois. Plenty O trailer park out there that I've frequented. <laughs> Milwaukee, downtown. Might have been, been the best sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> It was a lot of fun, man. Don't knock it to you to you're a kid in a trailer park and yeah. there's like kids everywhere. Yeah. It's like oh. Ed Ed and Eddie. Well yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just you, you go outside and there's fourteen kids without parental supervision. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Kendall's not wasting any time on this rack. He doesn't want Gray to get up four zero. Let's see, we got Rodney. Can I challenge someone and steal it? I can't play weekly. Well, you got. I think you got to play at least three or four weeks. You know, we wanna we wanna keep the king roll consistent. Uh, if you just want to challenge somebody for a night, come on down. I'm sure you'll find a game. Colleen says, "Go Gray." Watching from Colorado. That's right. You guys have family out in Colorado. Watching this. Um, there's some. Uh, Scafidi's Bar. I think they were doing shots for every game that Gray wins. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that could be 20 shots. I mean, yikes. It could be. That's a lot of shots. Yeah. <laughs> but they're free. Pat says, get it, Gray. Steve, Gray playing again. Yeah, he made it out here. He loved it the first time. He had a good stretch, and now he's back. Mark S. Gray found his smooth stroke. Unbeatable. I'm just, I'm happy that Kendall got that game because that's going to be, you know, that could tip the scale a little right. bit. You don't want to let him get too far ahead of you. Thank you, Randy, for the like. So maybe if we get some time, Mason, you can give us some stories about Des Moines and yeah, sure. All those cool places you've been in the past few weeks. See, then you don't have to tell everybody individually when they come up to you in the pool hall. Yeah. You got I've like already a, had to. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. have a speech? Like, after a Definitely. while. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I have a, yeah, something I replay over and over. 
It's like I did pretty good. I almost yeah. beat filler. It's word for yeah. word, word for word, dude. <laughs> every time. Was it Fedora or filler? That Fed, you, Fedder. Yep. Fe, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fedder. Yep. Fedder Gorst. Yeah, Tyler Steyer, I heard, though, went hill-hill with filler. So that's, I think, what people keep getting. Well, Wisconsin's repping, you know? Because I've heard that a couple times already now with uh, getting it mixed up with filler. So, But oh, they're, they're right. similar players, too, actually. I, I mean, in a little bit. Just because they're both the young gun, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, they it's they kind of got that same thing. It yeah. must be a thing. You got to have your girl on your arm. You walk in, <laughs> right. you look the same, same haircut. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way you got to do it now, you know. Let's well, see. that's what that's why I grew the hair out. You got to be different, you know. Yeah, for sure. I looked like every every other white boy at one point in my life, you know. Well, you got to change it up once in a while. Yeah. Our newest sponsor, Erickson Auto Trim. Thank you, Erickson, by the way, if you're listening. <laughs> Pat says uh twenty shots is easy. At uh I don't I can't say that. What's the what's the name Scafides. of it? Scafides. It's Greek. I believe. I could be wrong. Oh, there's two of them saying the same thing. That's hilarious. Let's they're see. they're ready to go. So they're already three shots in. Gary, you don't need a Fargo rating to play in the Kings. It's open. Anybody can challenge anybody. The minimum is two fifty, two person tournament. But that's a minimum. You can always do side bets or whatever you want. Yeah, Pat says 20 shots is easy at Scafidi's. Anthony says 20 shots at Scafidi's is easy. Pat says 20 shots is easy at Scafidi's. Wait, are you... Just in case we, yeah. we didn't get it. Well, because of the at sign. Yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, I get it. That's Italian. Scafidi. Hey. Hey. Hey, forget hey. about it. <laughs> Scafidi's. <laughs> Do they have their cold cuts on the bar? Yeah. Sounds like a good place there. Well, seven to the eight, little left English comes around nicely, leaves a good angle to get back to the nine. Yeah, Gray's definitely playing smooth. Real smooth. Get ready for your fourth shot, everybody. Ooh. You know, I can't say that was close to the side. That was perfect. Yeah, that'll make it four to one in a race to 20. Nine ball. Look at that lonely little nine footer in the back room there. With the with the Simonis cloth. Kind of. <laughs> it's just waiting to be played on back there, right? Yeah. Poor, poor guy. So this is our overview. I mean, you can see this is the arena. Uh, we've got people sitting at the tables and some of the bleachers. Uh, Gray brought some... I don't know if that's his wife. I, I forget. It's been a I few think months. So. Yeah. She's hanging out. I think close I, enough. Having a meal. Yeah. Evan says, let's go, Gray. Ooh, nine in the corner. Just hanging there. Ooh, yeah, that's going to change the game. Anthony says, Scafidi's Hideout, best bar on that block. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the only bar on the block? It's like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> MH will say he's voted uh, best pool player in the family. In America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I uh, I talked with uh, MH's sister. Yeah, I tried to put a, a convo with her when she was in the chat one of the Sundays. She's got a really interesting job. Yes. She's one of those that walks like 15 dogs on each arm right. downtown London. Stereotypical, like, uh, yeah. yeah. Big city. Sounds pretty awesome, like pet, a Manhattan thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she calls it the, the dog father or something. I think. James think. Keating. I know you're in here somewhere. Right? That's Jay, right? He must yeah, be listening be. to it on his earbuds somewhere in the room. I know he's playing in the tournament. 
He says, sounding good. Blue bobber. Are you ready? I'm buying. Yes. Two. Yeah. Mason, would you like a blue bobber? Oh, they're good. Yeah. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah. I don't want to get kicked off Facebook again. I don't know what did it. Maybe it was me repping the blue bobber. Is that where you last week or? Yeah, that was uh, Johnny's nine ball. Oh, okay. You know? And something happened between those few days where Facebook got a little upset. Huh. It was kind of interesting. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but they yeah. said you can either plead guilty or you can um, plead your case. And then I was like, yeah, well, tell us what we did so we know what not to do. And they said, in response, they said, you have to tell us what you did wrong. <laughs> No, that's weird. Or we're not going to lift your, you know, warning or anything. But they lifted it. There must have been a mistake of some kind. Or thank something. you, Almighty Facebook. Yes, thank you. Someone reported it or something. I, who knows how that stuff works? Yes. I really don't know, and I'm a technical person. Well, came back and hit the five. That's going to be ball in hand. We'll see if Kendall can get this done and bring this lead down. Facebook jail. Not quite, Michael. It was kind of, it was a little strange. So, yeah, if anybody's over on Facebook, head over to YouTube. It's a lot, it's a lot higher quality. <laughs> uh, you can rewind. They'll love that. Huh? Yeah. They're probably the same company now. Who yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, Kendall's not wasting any time here. Quick fire. They call him quick fire for a reason. A little short on the draw there. What do you do with this? It... Yeah. No. Yeah. Hmm. Whatever you want. Oh, no, like just knocks it in. A little bottom left. Keeps it under control. Rolls up for the seven. I'm liking it. It looked like such a complicated table until it's down to the last two, three balls. It's amazing when someone plays shape. <laughs> you know, so that's easily. the end. Of, that's the end of the yeah, sentence. That's it. It's What's amazing it? <laughs> when somebody plays shape. It, it's a whole new game. We flirted it's so with much that more. side. Whew. All right, right. There we go. Candle up. Wow, there's a lot of people in One the bleachers game. clapping right now. Well, you know, Kendall does have those supporters. Yeah. <laughs> Not as many as Gray. But he definitely has supporters. I don't think anyone has more support than Gray. Yeah, he does have a lot of it. Just a genuinely nice guy. Yeah, he just seems to not do wrong. It's good. Derek Justin. Dead stroke. Well, you know, he needed some time to get going. But when you can run a table like that, you can bring that lead down. How do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? I like that shirt. Yeah. Do you know the history of where that saying came from? In general? From Shakespeare, right? Well, you know, a lot of people say goodwill hunting. Um, but it actually came from, I believe, World War One, where the grenades look like apples. Hmm. So the guys would throw the grenades at the tanks, and they'd say, how do you like them apples as the tank blows up? That's the most gangster thing I've ever heard. I like. mean, especially back then. I mean, think about it, right? That's pretty pretty raw fighting. So if anybody can fact check me on that, let me know if I'm right. Evan says YouTube is way better. It really is, especially if you're streaming it to your, like, 50-inch, 80-inch, you know, 4K TV. You definitely get the clarity. And hopefully the... Sound quality goes way up on YouTube. Nice little safety there. Oh, he did. Look at J, J, J. Thank you, Jay. All right, the door is opening, so I'm going to keep talking so the music doesn't sneak in and get us a copy strike. Pretty easy for me to do. They say I never shut up. This is going to be a tough table. There you go, Christy. Thank you, Mason, for the beverage. What are they? What are they running out of blueberries? What is this? 
I get that's a sad amount. I, I yeah, that's <laughs> 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 like here's a couple of them. There should be an equal amount of blueberries in every beer. <laughs> you sound like a cereal brand or something like given there. Well, somebody probably knows where I got that from. If you oh, do, I don't know. Was yeah, that from something? It, it's from a movie. It's from an excellent movie. One of my favorite movies. Was that a clue? Excellent? No. No, no. Um, eh, you know, I don't want to give it away. Let's see if anybody knows. There should be an equal amount of blueberries in every beer or possibly muffin. Mm, this I'm is leave a it at that. delicious blueberry beverage. I love it. This is my new favorite. It is it is really good. I think it's a local, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it's um, it's made at the uh, Fox Fox Valley Brewery, I believe. Which is out of the mall. Yeah, that sounds right. And uh, they have it on tap here. And that's all I'm going to say about that, Facebook. Yeah, thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. He's not looking. I gave him the invisible thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. We'll wait for the 30 second delay and he'll look over here. <laughs> <clears throat> so this table with that three and four... Definitely complicates things. Wow. Drills the 2-5 combo. It's almost replay worthy. It's definitely replay worthy. I got to follow my own rules. Wait for the balls to stop moving. Count to three. It's the new rule. Yeah, and he got an angle there to break up the 3-4. Oh, I kind of got in trouble again, but it's not as bad as it was. Yeah, Patrick Glynn gave the same definition as you did. You could have just said I was right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would have been a lot easier. Yeah, the phrase was to taunt the enemy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Kind of. Yeah, World War, the Allies' anti-tank grenades. It's called a toffee apple. Because it looked like a bulb-like appearance on a stick. The phrase was to taunt against the enemy. Uh, a little short on that six. He's not going to be happy about that. I do believe Gray's got a shot. Is that line from as good as it gets? No, James. Incorrect. <laughs> It was beautiful. Wasn't it? I got my trumpet here. I, you probably don't know this, but I played the trumpet in high school. How many years? That was pretty experienced there. None. None? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we'll cut off there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll just end that there. Yeah. I played drums, you know? That's about all I could do. You look You look like a drum player. <laughs> I, I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Deb got it. Deb Casino. Come on now. Who doesn't know that? Ooh, he went for the little mass, eh? Goodfellas Casino. Yeah, it was ca yeah, it was definitely Casino. Um So you got a muffin from the kitchen. He was having a conversation with somebody. He owns the place, right? He runs the place. He he gets the muffin and he opens it up. And he just yells at the the chef. He says, mm -hmm. "I want an equal amount of blueberries in every muffin." <laughs> Speaking of, Tom, our baker, ah, yeah, made blueberry muffins for EAA coming in. Little mini Ooh. muffins. Ooh, I gotta get some. I of those. might be able to go find some if there's a lull here somewhere. We're gonna have to go ahead and get some muffins. Kendall's on a roll. Nobody does it better than uh, Tom. Does it have an equal amount of blueberries in every muffin? It's got a, a nice yeah. quantity. Good. Of blueberry. Nice quantity. Yeah, that I can. That, that's awesome. Yeah. Also, like really good at planting like flowers and what's the what's the official name of that planting flowers botany botany sure Is that accurate yeah i can go with that yeah it's beautiful our patio he's got like you don't even notice until you notice you know what i mean you'll be looking for a while you'll be like wow this is really well placed out oh out on the matio yeah yeah you're that, like you're like there's a, there. it takes an art there's a certain art there and he, Tom does better than better than anyone I know. 
I mean, I've gone out there and I take for granted how much work has been done to make the waterfall and the, the plants. and Yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, the did, stones and all that. Were you here when uh, that was parking slots? Yeah. Yeah, back, yeah. I don't know, three years ago. Yeah. yeah, I used to park right up by the door. It was the weirdest thing. You could just park right yeah. where the patio is now. Right. Yeah, I guess I, I didn't I didn't know if you'd say yes or no. I couldn't remember if you'd been here at yep. that time. It was always Larry Ryder. Right. Uh, because right. he had he had the handicap spot. Yeah. And then there was me. <laughs> <laughs> Both driving the same car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twenty five year old cars. Classic like Cadillac or something. Just to get back and forth to the pool. That's all you need. So this table here, I believe he's got a nice shot on the one. You're going to need a stroke, though, especially how close it is to the rail. Or do you just make the ball and probably get the two? Yeah, I think you make the ball. Though this, I mean, honestly, banking at the nine is kind of tempting here a little bit. I hate to be that guy, but, you know, nine ball. Yeah. It's a low percentage, though, for most. Wow. He hit that good. Real good. Yeah, and he just focused on uh, making the ball. He just tried to make the ball clean, and then uh, he was rewarded. I think that's what you got to do, right? Yep. If you make the Sometimes, ball, yeah. you, can, you can move on to the next opportunity. Right. You always have to place that as priority, because otherwise you miss, you're done shooting. So that was a little tricky. Make the ball, yeah. Yeah, he's kind of back where he was a little bit, kind of. Yeah, that's kind of a like, similar shot. What do you do? Back cut that? Yeah, and I think you just again kind of focus on just making it. Yeah. Then you can blame bad luck if you get behind the eight. We all love to do that, don't we? Well, I've got a ton of excuses, but he made it. Not a problem. Kind of he's, yeah, he's not behind the eight, but he is in front of the eight, so still made it difficult queuing. For I mean, sure. Look at that. You gotta jack up and draw this. Yeah, I'd come forward. I'd try and I'd try and go forward on the cue wall. Oh yeah, the angle was there. Okay, I see it. Comes back for the five. Yeah. A, li a little hard, obviously. You didn't get on the five even if you made it. But maybe, you know, if that angle cuts a little differently, he might have stayed down. Yeah, for sure. By the five, yeah. Because he hit it a little thin, so it would have slowed down. Right. Oh, your dad put a ton of left on that. He was doing some trick shot there. Right. Now they're playing slam ball. That's, I mean, that's that's nine balls of their nickname. Well, when you got to get to the other side of the table, you got to take that shot. It's either a safety or you got to play some crazy three rail with, like, outside English. I mean. Right. That's where nine ball shines. That's where the entertainment comes from. Between that and a, you know, a little bit of a safety battle here. Yeah, there. on the bar table for sure. I think there's a lot more like, I can, I can break this ball out. Something I can come seven rails and bump into the ball, no problem. You know, instead of taking the safety. So you see a lot more of that. Yeah, you do. Yep. And Larry Ryder, amazing for that. Oh yeah. I He'll feel go down in history as the the Larry Ryder shot. I don't know, know how he does it. I don't. I, he still amazes me. Larry the legend. Ooh, this is a... Uh, did he get behind the I eight ball? I think he did. I think he did. Let's take a look at that. It looks like it's right on the edge. It, it does look right on the edge. but And we saw him like do a mini masse earlier. So we know he can he can predict that pretty accurately. I think last time it might have been a, a little easier that he was had the object ball closer to the pocket, but... I still think he's going to be in an okay spot here. You can't plan on much for your cue ball, though. That's the one the one scenario here. You're, you're kind of lucky if you can get at a good spot after making the seven. So, But I wouldn't bet against him on making the ball, at least. No. Especially I mean, if he's going to grab his jump cue right now like he is. I would definitely jump this. Just try and clip the edge. It I allows mean, for better shape yeah. if you can make the ball. So, What is it, a quarter ball jump? Not the end of the world. You know, he. I, in my opinion, I think he was just a little bit jacked up too much there. Right. For a quarter ball, a lot of power, a lot of strength. Got to let the jump cue do some of that work. Yeah. Yeah, because the higher you elevate, it's the same as if it wasn't a jump cue. 
you were just shooting a straight in shot and you jacked up high, you know, you're changing that direction. It's a lot harder to control. So you want to be as low and flat to the table as possible, and that includes on jump shots, you know. Well, back in the day, I mean, they used to jump with full cue, so, you know, that was probably like, what, 45, 50 degree angle. Now you're sounding like Earl the Pearl over there. Well, I did have a Muchi. I did jump with a Muchi. How well, strong is that? It was real strong. It was full, it was a Muchi Hustler. Full Q? Yeah, full Q. Full Q, soft tip. Wow. And I would jump all the way across, like color and money. Everything would go in slow motion. So that G in the uh, Chris G, it really does stand for gangsta, doesn't it? Yeah, OG. Yeah, the Chris OG. I've been around. I hate to admit that I'm older, but... <laughs> It is what it is. It is. Rome Harper, that's a shout out. Yeah, Rome. Rome. I don't think you watch this. One of these days you're going to pop in and I'm, you're going to hear us give you credit for the is what it is. He's been on before, I've thought. Probably. So, Chumpy Dumper says, have you ever played the flute? No, Chumpy, I have not. Have just you? just a trumpet player. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Trumpet, drums, uh, trombone. I actually did play the trombone for a long time. I have not played the flute. I played uh, bass clarinet in uh, middle school. That's well, a, that sounds pretty awesome. It's similar to like a saxophone. It's not the same thing, but yeah, it, but it's got it that, was like the beginner. It's got that funk. Yeah, yeah. It's got that jazz. Yeah. Yeah, I was in on it for sure. Well, he rolled up for that too. Maybe a little far. Well within tolerance. That sounds like an MH. MH kind of. Yeah. MH says that for I, sure. <laughs> I'm, bring, I'm bringing in some of the some of the MH physics. I mean, he really is kind of like the Einstein of pool. Oh. <laughs> 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 was, Einstein always wore the same clothes <laughs> every day. <laughs> and the spiky hair. Yeah, yeah, you didn't <laughs> care. There was not enough time yeah. in a day to worry about those menial things. Right, right. No, yeah. It was all about the you physics. Gotta, yeah, you got to worry about the way that the planet's moving and the in-depth uh, process of the universe. Exactly. You know, why worry about your hair? Yeah, no, yeah. You, yeah. you don't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we got here? <laughs> Who are you talking to, Chunky Dumper? I haven't. Patrick Glenn. It was actually the chef in Casino. I said that. I'm pretty sure. You're going to have to go to Facebook or YouTube and trigger, rewind trigger it. Trigger warning here. Yeah, this is the second time Patrick's like over explained something that I've already said. I'll get you back on Sunday. Chris, that might be my favorite part about talking with you. Is uh, That I overanalyze everything? No. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, man. Well done, Gray. That was a great shot. A great, great, it was great. Oh, man, look at the audience is just going nuts. Yeah, there's a whole crowd here for Gray. I kind of like this new toy. Yeah, I like it, too. I mean, not only does it make the audio much, much better. Way better. Oh, you missed mine. Oh, oh sorry. Well, I, yeah. I lowered my voice and everything. All right, let's have it. Way better. There, do you feel satisfied? Yeah, yeah I do. Okay, cool. we'll have to do that later too. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like, "Thank you for coming." It'll just be in the echo, reverb. Oh yeah. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Friday, Friday. Kings Court. Yeah, right. Starts at this eleven a.m. This would be good commercials. I like it. Well, we're definitely going to do it up. We got this uh, new awesome camera set up. I don't know. Can I say anything about that, or is it a secret? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. It's not I a think secret. It's, it's yeah. I mean, I don't know. We're gonna be producing intro videos, um, training videos. Uh, Mason's right. gonna be doing some some cool, um, you know, drill type videos. He's got a. He's working on his social media. You know how all pro players are. They got to do the the every couple of week. You know, drop in on YouTube and Instagram and Yeah, I've Facebook. been putting in my time like trying to get more of a grasp on it. You know, it's not really my strong suit, but I'm into it and I've got like a lot of uh support, so thank you to anybody out there 
and a lot of you I know are my supporters, so thank you for that. Yeah, where do they find you on Facebook? Well, I've got uh, my personal account, you know, at my name, and then I do have the Stone Mason. The on Stone Facebook. Mason. And I, I'm starting to want to try to go over to Instagram, so I know that's a a popular spot. Yeah, probably I'm start that in the next couple of weeks. So. Definitely. It all helps, you know. You got to get your social media presence out there these days. Yeah, it's kind of fun too. I have to, I have to take it on as like a a fun activity, you know, because it is. What a great safe. Yeah, he controlled that key wall like really clean. I mean, it's locked up on the six. There's not a whole lot of options. I mean, you're gonna have to put some left English on that. So what do we got here? Eight ball moved on the jump. Well, we didn't see it. What? Did somebody not rack the one on the front? Oh. So we don't play the one ball on the front of the rack anymore. Well, you know what? Someone go to YouTube, rewind, Screen check cap. the front of this, and let us know. Make it go viral. Post it in Mad Apple Player Society. Oh, yeah. play. <laughs> if you post it in <laughs> no, Wisconsin Pool Player Society and you say, was this a good hit? Right. They love it. And they don't know what's going on. Three, 300 comments, guaranteed. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Tons. And they don't know if they're shooting at the stripe, the solid, the nine, the eight. <laughs> so Brian says, what's the extension between Gray's butt and shaft? <laughs> Reworded is necessary. I think I saw Mason have one on his Q, too. They're, they're called middle of the Q extensions. Yes. Yeah, you can get them anywhere. You can get them here at the Pro Shop, the Mad Apple Burger and Billiard Pro Shop. Come visit MH. Well, that was on, like, Kendall. I think it was the slow roll that got him because he's been kind of stroking everything in. Yeah, you know what happens, too, is uh, that first rack, uh, Kendall was running out, and he, he really he didn't he didn't finish. Right. Now he's kind of getting close to tying it up or maybe pulling ahead, and you kind of start to do that same thing again. So it kind of becomes a, a little mental seed. So how do you break that? Planted in you. you just got to not give a care in the world. Well, the easiest way for me just to break like, it. Like go one shot at a time, not right. really care. You know, like like not like the it's like meditation. Like it enters your head. Get it out of there. Get right. it out. It don't matter. Just shoot Short the Short memory. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah, that's good advice from the stone mason. <laughs> I hope for like. <clears throat> like the opponent leaves me a good starter shot. Because mm -hmm. if I can get a good starter shot and I get a couple of good leaves and I run out, that builds my confidence up. That helps me forget any mistakes I made in the right. previous rounds. And, well, that's why it makes it so difficult if you're on that other end right. and you've kind of now left such a prime opportunity. And it's almost like easy an easy scenario at the end of a rack to take a game. You're like, wow, I just gave that guy that's the, even the worse. ability. Right. To feel really good about himself right now. So it swaps it. Yeah. Swaps the momentum. Like in a matter of a split second. Then you get some matches where you never get a good starter shot. And it seems like you're just one trick shot after another just to stay alive. Yeah. Pool's a fun game. Yeah. <laughs> That's another game for Gray. Six to four in a race to 20. We're at the Mad Apple Burger and Billiard Company in Appleton, Wisconsin. Right off of 41. Easy to get to. Come visit us. Check out the Scratch Kitchen. Yep, best cookies in the business. Everything's made fresh. Ribeye, salmon, burgers. Ooh, yeah, I did like a, um, what's it called? I'm just going to slip my mind here now. What's that sandwich called with ribeye in it? <coughs> a ribeye sandwich? No, like the classic. It's like a St. Patrick's Day type scenario. Oh, yeah. Um, Reuben? Um, no, the corned beef hash. Corned beef. Yeah, yeah, like a corned beef sandwich. Yeah, yeah corned beef Ooh, was yeah. amazing. You can only have it once a year because it's so rich. Right. That is kind of how it goes. But it was, I had one here. It was a delicious Delicioso for the Italians. The, for those that <laughs> scaff. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> we got to keep Scafidi's awake over there. So what do we got? Anthony Rourke, IBI triple. Yeah, I don't know. 
<laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, Anthony. <laughs> that might be Chumpy Dumper. Oh, yeah, I heard there's a guy with two YouTube accounts on here. There's like seven. The guy's got like seven YouTube accounts. He's out camping. Somehow he has internet, electricity, and multiple accounts. Sweet, man. And he's here for gray. Keep it up, buddy. Yeah, we do appreciate you. So what do we got here? David Dahl. Appreciate it, man. Saying both players are entered in the $250 entry. Terry Romine Senior Memorial in September. That's pretty cool. That's going to be awesome. Classic name there in pool. Yeah, I'm going to get course, out there. Romine's. Uh, See, I went to Romine's when it was I on 27th being, and 43. Oh, wow. And that, I don't know if that's the same one or not. Everyone keeps saying um, it moved. It's still on 27, but it's closer to the airport. That doesn't right. mean anything to me. I yeah. I was a kid. Do you, I mean, do you, this is pretty, uh, r the where, <laughs> the spot that Romine's is at now. Right. You would for sure be able to, like, recognize oh, and describe yeah. it. Because it's in, how did you get there? Well, I lived on 43 in Morgan, um, which is by uh, that Alvernal College. Lived there for a little stint. And uh, I used to ride my crappy 10 speed, like, miles, miles to 27th Street. And then there was a Southgate Mall to the left, and to the right, you just go down a few blocks, and there was Romine's. George Pawalski sitting in there. That's pretty cool. Being man. George Pawalski, giving lessons. Yeah, it was a good time. So I'll have to come down for that, David. I yeah, did see I think the they might be running it at uh, Shepherd's, though. Is it being ran at Shepherd's, but it's a Terry Romine? Oh, yeah, David Dahl, why don't you give us a little more information on that? I think that's what I saw. I'm not quite sure, though. I know it's in Facebook. So if anybody out there is really interested, get into the Facebook groups, you know, Wisconsin Pool Player Society, Matt Apple Pool Player Society. Obviously, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow our stuff, Matt Apple Extreme, the OS, YouTube. Gotta yeah, and, and I know that uh, stinnell has got a uh, bank pool tournament coming up at uh, Shepherd's also. So. Yep. yep, he had some flyers out for that. That's going to be exciting. Yeah, I'll try to make that, too. Uh, I, I like banks. Do a little switcheroo. I left it on the overhead. Ooh, that snuck in there nicely. Does have the six, uh, the five, I'm sorry. I think Patrick's right. The five is upside down. Can we go out there and spin it? So we can read the number? Yeah. Nick Lex Sr., thank you. Yo. Always a good supporter. Nick and your son, Junior. Nick and Nick. They make a really good pool team together. Yeah, they could probably, like, flop up the order of who's shooting, too, like, crazy easy. Well, Nick Jr. is definitely coming around. He's been putting a lot of time in. And I believe he does, you know, he has a full-time job at a dealership. Yep. So, I mean, to, to be good at pool and still work. Oh, yeah. It's a little tough. The older you get. Yeah, there we go. Um, Pat says it used to be on 27th and Wisconsin. That is correct. 27th and Wisconsin. Yeah, so maybe, so the one that was by um, 27th, and, 27th and Morgan, I think that might have been the old location, or maybe the new one, I don't know. You know, I was a kid, like maybe, maybe like distance-wise, relative to me, like it always seemed like it was close. Right. You were just that driven for pool. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was like a, it was a nice bike ride. I think my bike had one of those kid carriers on the back, too. It was my mom's, and that was embarrassing. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Until I got a skateboard, that was my main mode of transportation. Kids these days, man, they don't understand. They walk outside, and there's all these little scooters and stuff that they can rent. 
It's not how it is. Uh, okay, so now it's by 27th in college. It was by 27th in Wisconsin. I must have been visiting the 27th in Wisconsin. That was, you know, that would have been like 30, 20, no, like, I don't want 25 years ago. Yeah, definitely not a few blocks from Southgate, a few miles. Yeah, see, but that's what I mean. It's just relative to me. This is a long bike ride. Kendall's last rack had the seven ball in front, Tom said. Well, they must not have noticed it. That's a little interesting, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they should have replayed that. I didn't catch that. We'll put that on the highlight reel. <laughs> oh, then it was Lenny's Billiards. 27th in college. Nope, that's the newer one. Yeah, okay, so I always went to the newer one. Well, that solves that. Now I know. Anytime I have a Romines conversation, I always went to the new one then. Thank you. Finally got that figured out. <laughs> Yeah, there was no flights of stairs. He just walked into a big brick building. At least I don't remember there being stairs. Yeah, so it must have been the new one. Nathan says, all right, who's over there at Scafidi's Hideout watching? Yeah, why don't you guys give a shout out where you're at, where you're from? Yeah, y'all are uh, seven shots deep over there, huh? Yeah. Is he given is he given uh, a shot per game? I forgot what the rule was. Ah, Jim sent a picture. You sent it to me? Ah, I do have it. Oh, that's an alias. I know who you are, Jim. And you're not Jim. <laughs> yep, definitely the seven ball. Well, I mean, if both players didn't notice it. He should uh, change that to his profile picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you know, uh, tied 4-4 four, four in a race to 20. And I break with the seven ball in front. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah. Well, do appreciate it. You know, it doesn't affect the game. Um, you know, obviously it was a mistake. Neither player caught it. No big deal. Make sure my phone's muted here. Good. Done. I'm going to have to turn this fan on. Yeah, go for it, man. It was like an electrical sound when I touched this. I'm electrified. It's electric. No, I didn't finish what I was saying earlier about yeah. my favorite part of talking with you. What's what's your favorite part of talking with me, Mason? Is that y you know you you've uh, dated yourself a couple times. You talked about being older. Yeah, I'm forty. But you know, like most of today's lingo and conversations. Well, that's because I, I have three kids, right? So you know, kids I know, but keep my dad, young. my dad didn't care. You know what I mean? Like, my dad didn't catch up on any of the... Well, that's why he still uses Pandora. Yeah. Sadly. Right. Like, you get stuff like that, which I think is awesome. It's well, you know, I appreciate it. Yeah. It might be because the internet, too, you know? Like, I've always that's been true. real tight with the internet. I'm a technical person. I do that for a living. Right. You know? But you you'll, like, catch any of the, like, whatever is going on today. Right. You, you'll get it. It's hilarious. I am known as the meme lord. Right. Oh, Kendall needs a new piece of chalk. The one he had was giving him troubles. <laughs> <laughs> I held back. <laughs> I 
And here we go. I think my mic is sometimes a little hot. That's why you turn the fan on, right? Got to cool it down. So how's the sound out there? We're trying out some new tech. We're trying to make it so you don't have to have your TV on like 90% to hear us. So we're hoping this comes through nice and clear. Crisp. Crisp. You know, we got the noise suppression kicking in. Trying our best to not get copy strikes from the jukebox music that's playing out there. So Larry says, Kendall's favorite game is nine ball, and his new nickname is now going to be called seven ball. <laughs> well, I'm not calling him that, Larry. <laughs> what a great it's shot. Great, 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 great it's shot. Is great. I mean, I'll tell you what. It doesn't matter. I always see Gray just giving it his best. He's always making all his shots. He makes tough shots. I mean, he really does prove that he is a 637 Fargo. Oh, yeah. Good player. Ooh. Got right on that four ball, though. Just tight. Doesn't the five Thanks, look Tom. like the seven on the left? Like on the cla a classic set seven. Yeah. 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 You, you know, I mean, we've got all these old monitors. Right. We're going to have to upgrade the monitor situation someday. We need a few more super chats for that. So if you're over on YouTube, please, please subscribe. Also, if you do super chat or send any kind of donations over, Kendall has stated that any profits that come out of this thing, really, which is tough with the ad ad stuff, you know, it's, it's kind of a pain. There's not a whole lot going on right now. Maybe if we get 100,000 subscribers, it'll be a little to spread around. But it's all going to the juniors program here at the Mad Apple. And one of the juniors that will benefit from this is Caden Hillman. He's actually playing in the weekly 10-ball tournament today. He's sitting over there. With yeah, his you dad. know, him Him and his uh, family tried to sign up for the SVB Junior Open that just kind of got announced. Did you see any of that? No, no. They started a new Junior Open alongside the U.S. Open. Really? Under SVB's name, yeah. That's so awesome. SVB Junior Open. They only took 32 spots. It filled in two minutes. Yeah, you got to take like 128. Through match room. It filled in two minutes. What's the, well, you know, okay, they start slow, see how it goes, maybe raise it to 64, maybe do it a couple times a year, right? I mean, it's a start. Yeah, and I mean, it adds uh, kind of that, it's like that, uh, it's like how Gucci sells a limited amount of shirts, and then it causes all the controversy, you know what I mean? Like yeah. It's kind of like he's getting us talking about it. So Supply and demand. Yeah. Right now they're in demand. Man, would you look at that? That couldn't have worked out any better. But how great is it to know that it is in demand, that we've got that many junior players, you know, ready to go, that it sells in two minutes? I mean, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Because I think we're in juniors. good hands. We're in good hands. Yeah. There's so many. I know a lot of the uh, upcoming players, and, the, and they've all got great attitudes, and it's a, it's a really – awesome thing to see because really I, I would is. like to say it probably wasn't that way when i went through so it's no. like there's such a positivity going on there keep, is keep it up good stuff yeah when i was in the juniors i felt so alone right you know it was just a struggle and a grind right and, th and they all really do uh compete but they're they're friends too and yeah. friendly to it's each other it's amazing yeah it's, it's, it's a great thing to see it's a good face for pool steve miller says the sound is great sounds like you're in the room in the same room with me, hitting the like button is a good thing for the channel. All viewers, please hit the like button. Do appreciate it, Steve. Yeah, thank you, buddy. I mean, if you're on YouTube and you subscribe, you'll get notifications if you hit that bell. Um, you know, we do have a few videos coming out each week. We got the King's Court on Sunday. Then we have highlight reels, stuff like that. Yeah, and I was going to mention, too, we got a lot of cool <coughs> stuff coming up that isn't uh, King of the Hill style i'm Correct. excited for our derby city classic matches to get released those are going to be yep we're in the process of commentating over the top of a ton of derby city matches adding scoreboards and things like that it's a lot of work it's yeah not as easy as it sounds. yeah we've got tons of videos to commentate yet also so if you're kind of like a, a specialist you kind of watch one pocket or banks and you think you'd be good at commentating like Give us a message, and we'll see if you want to join us for a for a match or so. 100%. Yeah, you could sit in the booth with uh, Mason here. Yeah. 
commentate a one pocket match. For sure, we've we've had a couple done already. Um, thanks to Big Smooth, Mike Gaines came in and uh, Big Smooth gave a, a video, some commentary on a video, and and he knows the game well. But if anybody else out there is uh, into that, I thought I'd throw the idea out there. So, man, that kind of worked out any better, huh? Look at that shape on the two. Yeah. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you for the subscription. Yep, Patrick, we got the uh, picture from Matt Dorn. Sorry, Matt, I outed your alias. You're going to have to get a new name now. <laughs> Sound is great. That's a great joke name. Which one, Sandy? Seven. Seven. Yeah, yeah. The seven oh, ball. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kendall Seven Cook. <laughs> I mean, obviously, they didn't realize it. I mean, you've got to be in a like a kind of a different world to not put the one in the front, right? I've done it though. So I it happens. Yeah. yeah, you're just so into like hurry up. I got to get. I want to. Yeah. I want to break. I want to run out the next one. I know the time I did it too. Everybody just like, like, gave me the biggest stuff about it. Like they're like, "How did you? Do? You know, like, like I did it on purpose." I'm like. Nope. No, no, there's there's nothing like that. Yeah. Great shot on the four. It's like it's like how can you even feel good that you ran out that rack there? You put the you put the the, the seven the on the wrong the, ball yeah. in front. Did he run out that rack? No, but I'm saying yeah. that's how it was for me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well anytime I get lucky, sometimes I feel guilty. Oh god, yeah. But you know what? You gotta take the wins when you can get them because there might be three or four racks where you get zero rolls. Yeah. Yeah, it'll comes around and goes around. Both these players playing a lot of offensive shots. I'm not seeing a whole lot of defensive safeties. Yeah, not really. Gray's got he's got good feel for this table, I'm telling you. Playing great. He really is. I mean your pops is giving him some chances. Yeah. You know, and the key word is he's taking advantage of the opportunities that are coming to him. Right. You know? I mean, if you get the last three balls, last five balls, and nine ball, and you have a shot, you really have to run out at this level. You can't mess around. So Sandy asks, Mason, what's your next event that you're playing in? Well, I'll be playing the uh, bank pool tournament here at Matt Apple in, uh, on the 13th. So that one's... Uh, Probably the most recent coming up. And then I think I'm going to that uh, Hex.com thing oh, yeah, uh, I saw over, that. over in uh, Minnesota, CR's Billiards. There was a lot of that added. Jerry in Johnson, yeah. Tons added. He's got a cool uh, skills challenge thing going on. It's basically a, kind of a shot-making challenge with the projector screen. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's one of those projectors that lays out an image on the table and it kind of sets up a shot and everybody's going to get a chance to throw in some money and, and bet on it. So that's exciting. Probably go do that one. I tried to get one of those here. Did you? Yeah, and the guy kept saying we had to buy like 15 of them and lease them or something. It was like a big... Oh, wow. It's like, can I just get one? Yeah, right. You know, we just want to try it out on the nine-footer. Um, I did what I could, but Obviously, their sales policies are right. mass sales and subscription-based, which is cool. It is what it is. That was a rough scratch that Gray just got there from the one ball. It really, yeah, that leaves the table open. Yeah, but he's my dad's playing too wild right now. Wow, he's gotta, that was a lot Got to tone it down if he wants to beat Gray. I feel like he's trying to be loose and just, you know, use a lot of English. Yeah. And it's a, I mean, that's a common thing. Let's let's get it right that he's, uh, he really doesn't play still. You know, what I mean, like true. I mean, he's running tons of things around here, and there's always something going on. And so I've known in my past when I couldn't play how I can now. You know, it's a, it's a common thing to like try and fake your way out of it. Sometimes he can't. So, but sometimes he can, and he might still turn on in this in this matchup. And 
snap it out, but he's definitely got to find his right balance here because we're not going to uh, see so many mistakes like that. No, see, that's three scratches, you know? Gray scratch, Kendall scratch, and then gray scratch. So this has to be a Kendall game. You've got to take advantage of this one. Get yourself on the board within three. Yeah, I was really obviously shocked by that scratch. That was a a tough scratch coming around like you did. Played that well. Got some breathing room, not on the rail. Taking a little extra time. I like that. Slowed down a little bit. Right. And that's what he needs to do if he he expects to beat Gray because he, he plays uh, some strong pool, so... I mean, he really does. I can't beat him. Um, is he doing it again? Because now we will really call him seven ball. He did. He racked the seven in front and he just switched him. Yeah, he realized it this time. I mean, uh, there's no, like, benefit to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> So the guy's blind, too. Uh. <laughs> Maybe colorblind. I mean, they are the TV balls. Well, he caught himself. They're they're chatting about it. They're having a good laugh. Um, he probably doesn't realize that he's done it a couple of times now. Sandy, you'll, you'll have to push that, push that name. I don't think it'll stick though. So also, David Dahl, he sent you a message about the Terry Romines tournament. Oh, okay, great. Oh yeah, I see a list of uh, Lamar, some good players. There. Sergio. Powers. Gino, my favorite. Gino, Claudio, Shout Duncan. Out. Shout mm. out to Gene Albright there. Mozzarella. Gene Albright's the man. Are both events streamed? Well, I don't know. Um, Depends on if somebody's going to be there to do it. The yeah. bank pool tournament here will likely be streamed. Yeah, we'll have one table. We'll have the full pool room, so we can watch a few tables at once. But, uh, yeah, we... You know, we did that with Johnny's Long Race Nine Ball, where we just kind of tried to keep some of the big names on the uh, streaming table. That's also on our YouTube channel. Yeah, and towards the end of the event, uh, we might even get fancy with it, a little commentary, but that'll depend on For availability sure. and such. So For sure, especially the semifinals, hot seat match, finals. Right. You definitely want to see those big names playing. Yeah, I made a post uh, saying uh, how Johnny's going to come out and dust off his cue. That's probably why he ran that tournament the other week. So he doesn't let him down. I loved down. it. He's won a lot of them. So he, when we ran him, he was often the, the winner. And he still plays great, you know. I don't know how many years he's really taken off, you know, being married, having kids and all that. But uh, little John can still play with the best of them. It's always a pleasure to watch him play. He's calmed down a little bit, too. Yeah. I guess that comes with age. That was a good draw stroke there. Matt Dorn says, Kendall, El City, Cook. Did I say that right? I don't really know Spanish. I'm, I'm guessing that means seven. Siete. Siete. El Siete Cook. Siete. With an A. It's like... It's, it's oh, so did he misspell it? No, 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 no. But that's how they do it. Oh, okay. Te. te. Yeah, you, you spelled it wrong, Matt. You got the wrong pronoun. That's, no. <laughs> hey, thanks for the stream. Bang Time, man. How you doing? You know, Bang Time's got tons of subscribers on his channel. Yeah, and it often tunes in, so thank you. Yeah, all the time, man. Yeah. Sandy says, when I come down, I'll be sure to bring it up to quick fire or seven, that is. Thanks for letting me know about the streaming. It'll probably be like, what? He, he can't remember the last second, so. Yeah, we'll have to, I have proof. He'll not, yeah, he'll not know what you're talking about, though, but that'll make it funnier. Well, this is bringing grade at 10. 10 
to six. Whoa. In a race to 20. We're at halfway the there. Matt Appleburger and Billiard. Apple to Wisconsin. Do a shout out to our sponsors. We got Erickson Auto Trim, Wisconsin Billiards Hall of Fame, Cutthroat Q Sports, Christensen's Heating and Cooling, Air Conditioning, JP Shower Custom Cues, right out of Wisconsin, Green Bay actually, Papa Lock. You know, a lot of pool players lock their keys in their car when they can't find their money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Papa Lock can fix that situation. Brownies, carpet and upholstery cleaning, and the Clarion, the attached hotel here to the Mad Apple Burger and Billiard. So you can stay here, saltwater pool, come play pool, eat good food, good times. The field is also heard, Pam, Barnell, Kramer, Jeremy F., and Boars. It's definitely a good field. You know, when you're in Milwaukee, you do get the Chicago players, and you also get the up north Wisconsin players. It's kind of a good area to just bring everybody in, especially for an event like that. I'm anticipating a real good turnout there for you, David. Should be an awesome tournament. Looks like it's going to be an early game here. I just ate my blueberries. Nice. That was so good. I got to say thanks to Jay again because, you know, this is like the second week in a row he's bought drinks. Yeah, that's uh, very generous. Gray with the early nine. With a great combo. Great. G-R-E-Y-T. Yep. That's how you spell it. Great. Not to be mispronounced Gary or anything else. It is Gray, like Gray's Anatomy. Doesn't his dad make cues? Yes, that's uh, every cue that Gray plays with is made by Mark, his father. Ah, yep. Long time cue maker. Yep, custom cue, Mark Seek. Custom break cue and jump cue. And he uses a five-inch middle of the cue extension. So someone asked about that earlier. He definitely has the five-inch extension in the middle of the cue, which probably turns what a fifty-eight-inch cue into a sixty-three. Quick, quick math. Quick math, and he might even have a thirty-inch shaft. I mean, that's not uncommon. Might even get him to sixty-four. <laughs> Riveting. Those. And if he has any extensions back of the queue, yes. could be a three, could be a five, could be an eight. He's ready for every size table. Yes, great, great description there. Thank by you. Thank Chris you. G. It was definitely a great description. Great, great description. So where's everybody from? We got to figure, we got about 200 viewers assuming everybody's from Wisconsin, but that's not always the case. We got some Illinois. Sometimes we get some out-of-the-country viewers. Let us know where you're from. We'll do a shout-out for you. I want I want an Australian resident tonight. There's an Australian viewer. Canton, Texas by Tommy. Thanks, Tommy. I think it's been, uh, oh, the tournament David's been full. And uh, he sings praises of the Mad Apple, best burgers. And, you know, I had the morning madness for lunch because I'm a rebel. <laughs> Man, I can't I can't get enough of that. It's just a, yeah, it's good. a burger with an over easy egg, hash nothing browns. else. Oh, it has hash, hash browns hash on browns it? Browns yeah, it's bacon. got the hash brown. Oh, the bacon. I can't forget about the bacon. Oh, so good. The legend Larry Ryder just walked in. I gotta play some wearing ring game. the slickest polo tee I've ever seen. Oh, he's gotta walk over into the camera. We gotta get him. He's famous. He's looking good. I'm glad he's here. It's been a while. For those that don't know, Larry's been 
kind of back and forth with illnesses and whatnot, but he beats everything, and he still beats me in right. nine ball. I he shot the one nine combo with his illness, and he's back at it. Yeah, he does. You know, it doesn't. He just, uh, I, I don't know how he does it. A grinder. Definition. Beautiful shot by Gray. Great, nice. great shot. <laughs> is that, that's never going to get old, is it? No. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We got Florida, bang time. Well, we know that. You're enjoying that 90 degree, 100% humidity and freedom. And we got Warren, Ohio. South Milwaukee, Tom. South side. Oh my god. <laughs> Better be careful here. <laughs> well, I lived on I lived on eleventh and national with my grandma. You said so I can rep it, you know. Yeah, man. When you live on eleventh and national as a skinny white boy, you're one. Jacob watching from Sydney, Australia. <laughs> I thought she was a waitress. <laughs> Waukesha on the weekends, Milwaukee. Seeing Kendall misfire some shots tonight. Well, you know, he's been wanting to practice all day, and I swear, every time he starts to shoot, someone comes up and asks him a question. Yeah, no, including you myself. Can't. Yeah, it's tough. Hortonville, Nick. Mark Bell says, I hear my king. Hello. I think he's talking about me. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's got to be. Mason, I think, yeah, Mark is probably one of your biggest fans. Yeah, for sure. Let's not get that wrong. Nice shot on the seven. Off the rail. Good leave on the eight. I mean, it's straight in. So what do you do with the nine? I mean, I always get like... You know, I guess, yeah, see, you just take what you get, right? You don't need to get two yeah, feet it closer. Yeah, it is what it is. Rome. Where are you, Rome? All right. Wapaka, Mark Bell, Todd Holzer. Hello, Chris. Hello, Todd. Thanks for joining us. I'm in the booth with Mason Cook, Kendall Cook's son. Hello, hello, hello. So there's a Fargo rate compared to a six and a seven, so... Their Fargo rate, I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's right in that area. It's a 6 or a 7 you know, in APA. Gregorio's an 8. Well, so they have two different... APA has, oh, okay. APA has like, I think 9 is the top okay. in, a, in an APA 9 ball. Oh. But then Depends 7 on what is the top in, like, 8 ball, I gotcha. think, if I'm right. So, uh, yeah, that would make sense. Probably a 6. So... N no, I actually think that it, it they get to the yeah. I mean, maybe six, but I think seven. I mean, both of these players are considered masters in BCA, R right? Right. I mean, whether or not their Fargo went up or went down in the past ten years or whatever, right? They play in the masters division yeah, and have in for, any tournament, you know. right? For years, yeah. So if that helps explain anything, one a.m. Romania, Gustav. Thanks, man. We do appreciate you. It's always nice to see people watching who enjoy the game, especially in different countries where maybe snooker and other types of games are more popular. Come hang out and watch some bar pool nine ball. We do appreciate it. Kendall's got the the emoji with the hand on the forehead. He's got a snap out of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Mark Bell says you skinny. I don't know what that means. Because Mason's you, you skinny. Called, you called yourself a skinny white kid. Oh, I was. Yeah, I was a skeleton man. I was always running. <laughs> 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 then we got near Toronto. Brian Smith. Wasaki. Waukesha. South Strip. Mark Bell says, not my king. Hashtag self-proclaimed, not my king. Skidmark. Sorry. Sorry, Ray. Mark Bell brought it on. All 
Well, I don't think he got as far as he wanted, but I don't think the seven nine is going to be too much trouble from this location. Harold, how you doing, man? Harold was here last week playing in the King's Court. Oh, nice. I missed it, but good to have him here. Yeah, I haven't seen him for a while, and uh, he's still shooting great. But you know how you know how it is. You get you get butterflies. You know, and I think you got to work it out. And uh, he played Mike, I believe. And Mike's won like, you know, eight times. Yeah. Not consecutive. Yeah, we've got a good match coming up this King's Court. We do. Yeah, TK. Tau TK. Just taking on Mike Gaines. That's going to be. Uh, this is the downfall to Mike. It might be. Uh, I'm a big TK fan. Whenever I mean, whenever he's playing, I, I'm betting on him. I, I like got to be. Yeah. I mean, when I first walked into this pool hall and I was looking to get in the league, I got on TK and B. Lore's team. Yeah. And it was amazing. Yeah. I mean, they're both really good players, and I'm just kind of getting back into it. Right. And they're like, hey, come on. Right. Yeah, they're, they're two of the friendliest guys we got in here. They really are. Look at that break. Yeah, good break. There. Wow. Let's take a look at the uh, the layout here. I mean, one to the four. After that, it should be smooth sailing. Do you just take the four in the upper left here? Uh, yeah, definitely. I just kind of flat ball, no English. Just kind of roll towards just it. Just roll it, yeah, right in between that seven and eight ball. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Well, you had different plans, but man, did that work out. Yeah, that allows you to hit the ball a little harder. Sometimes is uh, what you want. Well, yeah, because uh, some people don't like slow rolling, especially if they're used to valleys. And I'm not sure if Gray is. Uh, yeah, it says that he's uh, plays on a valley, mostly valleys. Yep. So you're not going to see him slow rolling too much. Well, that's a little unfortunate. That might be the break that Kendall Quickfire Cook has been looking for to get back in this match. I mean, what do you do with this? Play it safe? I mean, yeah, I think you you're might be able to safe. cross it into the side. Yeah, it might be a dead bank. Oh, a cross bank. Ooh, it's above my pay grade. This uh, shot goes pretty naturally a lot of the time. Matt Dorn, August 21st, challenging the Jesters. Good luck, man. I think you already played in it, didn't you? McCain Peters, what a break. Yeah, that was the best break of the night. I mean, to make that many balls and have a good shot on the one. Well, he went full offensive for that. I don't think, I think he's going to get punished for this one. Mr. Robot just walked in the door with his full cue. <laughs> Yeah. With his full one piece cue. I really gotta give it to him on that. That's that's the way to do it. Yeah, and he uh when he first started coming in he was just all day long and he still he still does play a lot. Um but I straight up I'm like, Do you sleep under the table or what's going on here? Like you're in here every second. He's not wasting any more time. He just wants to play pool. Ooh, that could have been a little dangerous on the side, but he pulls it off nicely, gets a yep. good leave on the nine. This is exactly what Kendall needed. Ooh, kind of banked that in. I'll tell you what, when he was practicing early, he could do no wrong. Right. So I don't know if he needs a cup of coffee or another Mountain Dew. Well, I think that start... The start, you know, the first rack that sometimes, like, uh, just sits at you like a seed, you know. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, he's played so much pool. You got to let that go, right? I mean, you got to keep going. I'm just saying uh, sometimes it doesn't, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's easier said than done. I, I know for sure. I was playing in that long race nine ball. I had Mr. Cutthroat Q Sports up seven to zero. Then it was seven to one. And then all of a sudden it was nine to seven, and I lost. Yeah, nine in a row, my man. <laughs> I quit. 
Look at that nine fly. You know, that one's not looking great, but you've got, what, the four in the corner? Yeah, I think you kind of, like, bank the one slash carom the four double. Gives you a lot of options. Double them over, but kind of just got up there and whapped at it. Kind of quick fired at it. You can't even really use that term anymore, can you? Whapped. Um, not anymore, I don't believe. Never ask your kids what that means because they just laugh and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made the mistake. Yeah, for a, for a second I thought you weren't on board with what I was <laughs> saying, and then I'm like, okay, he gets. He yeah, you know, I get it, right? Yeah. I get it, but yeah. I'm a little slow. You yeah. know, like it takes me some time to learn these things. <laughs> envelope yeah right yet i mean i mean it's on regular radio and you got six-year-olds listening to it so I, know. I don't know what the hell that's about but well you know no it's bad every it's generation kind of but something. it's so clear now i mean like they don't make it they don't make it any bit oh, i know i listen to hidden. some of my daughter's music and it's like she doesn't even like turn it down Right. That's like well, and then you got him. Sing, you got him like singing to it. There's like so you look and there's a seven year old singing to something. Oh man, that's you're like, what is wrong with everything? Society, everything. You know, but it's just music. As you get older, you always hate music. Um, and Dave Chappelle said it best. I think art is going to save us. And you know what? I wasn't a believer in that until I watched his uh, his latest <laughs> show. He, I mean, really, art is the uh, is the. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get all like every ball is a rail <laughs> on ya. I, you. Kind of hard. I'll, I'll keep it simple, but art is freedom of speech at its best. Um, if art <laughs> isn't pissing people off, this does sound just like race. It's right not right doing now. its job. Well, you know, money is freedom. Yeah. <laughs> Ray knows what he's talking about. All right, envelope. We'll bring that back. Start fresh. <laughs> oh, God. Right when I thought you were, like, with my generation, you go and do something like yeah, that. Yeah. You do something amazing. You sounded like Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> right when I thought you couldn't be any dumber. <laughs> you do something so amazing to redeem <laughs> yourself. All right. all right. All right. I do really like Dave Chappelle, though, I got to say. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Is that good enough? Oh, yeah. All right. So McCain Peter says he needs a three-pack here. I think Kendall needs a six-pack. <laughs> <laughs> the delay <laughs> got me. Patrick says, I'm lost. Chris, need to fill me in on that one. Um, Which one? Which part? And I might not. Yeah, Gustav probably... says, nice jump, Gray. I mean, both these guys can jump, mass A, kick. They can run multiple racks. He held the cue ball real nice there. Yeah, he did. No real reward, though. I don't see the one two going. The one could go off the backside of the two if he gets real aggressive here, kind of go rail first. Oh, yeah. And that'll kick the two out, most yeah, likely. Yeah, kind of be able to just stop your cue ball almost. Because it's almost right on that line. You're almost straight. So what you're saying is this is the shot. This, yeah. Went for the combo oh, man. and got it. I didn't think that was possible. Great shot. Great. <laughs> <laughs> great great shot oh patrick you're gonna have to ask your wife about that <laughs> <laughs> just just barely got to the rail there the key ball or any 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 i don't know I, i'm gonna leave that alone man envelope envelope yeah so this is the opportunity though for kendall if he if he Gets a chance back at this table. I mean, he's down by five. Not the end of the world in nine ball. That's yeah, not a lot in nine yeah. ball. You can, but it can be a lot if you don't do anything. This is the him. time, right? If he gets an opportunity here.
I don't know, Patrick. I'm not going to say it. Don't, yeah, don't. Definitely. Well, come on. What do you think? You think I would really say anything like that? Well, we've had worse on here. So. Oh, we definitely have had worse. We respect everybody on this stream. <laughs> yeah, we we respect everybody, and if we don't, we don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey. It is. Yeah, it is what it is. What it is. That's right. Rome Harper. Circa... 2019. Yeah. Pixels. Pixels. <laughs> what, yeah. a, what a relic that is. Huh? Yeah, man. That was great, though. It was a good time for Round Robins. <laughs> it, was a, it was like four valley tables with, like, fluffy cloth. They'll look back in history, and that'll be the Round Robin era. I really miss it. I do. It was just like... I, tr I tried hard to... We, uh, Susie and I would go like every week for a while until they started running the certain under and whatever yeah, right. round robins and not a lot of people showed up but we tried we like posted online we were like trying to make it look like a thing and trying to help them nobody out. nobody showed up as kind of you know it was tough for him uh Pete Deaton really helped him out bringing a lot of the 525 and unders right and which then, is the good I mean that's the good grab it, I thought it was working for a while so. it was but then COVID you know, and that's enough said. He had to go out of business. Right. Well, your dad found a second gear here. Or is it okay if I say that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Quick fire. Gear ear. It'd be weird, like, if someone called my dad his first name. What do you mean? I don't know. It just seems weird to me. Like, you're probably used to it. To hear somebody call him Kendall? Yeah, like, do you do you call him Kendall? You call him Dad. Uh, yeah, but so. sometimes I'll use Kendall because I know that for the viewership, uh, right. uh, people might not connect that when they just hear a voice. So. True. That but, yeah, true. I mean, uh, I've gotten more used to it over the years. Yeah, and at the older at you first, get. it was like, what? Yeah, but, yeah. right. I get you. So now he's fire. like, he's still my dad, right? But he's, like, less my dad. Yeah. I mean? I mean, the older you get. Yeah. Yeah. Cats in a cradle. And the silver spoon. Good song. Yeah, that is. Well, I mean, we're doing we're doing well tonight. We got a great match. We're at the Mad Apple Burger and Billiard Company in Appleton, Wisconsin. Uh, they did switch tables today. Home oh. of the best bakery really? in the town. Yeah, they make their own bread. Oh yeah, for the buns. Yep. Uh, if you like sticks. if you like rye bread, we got crazy good rye bread. Pete Beshta, thank you. Oh man. He did not need a scratch. Chibatas. Got to have the chibatas. Let's take a look at this. You like rye bread, Chris? Oh yeah, man. With have a little, you had it here? A little Limburger cheese and some, like some some head cheese. Have you had it here? No, I haven't. But I do like rye bread. Yeah, my grandma, um, you know, always used to make meals and there would always be like potatoes and rye bread i love it i'm a little leery of anybody that doesn't like rye bread really yeah hmm. i don't know if i trust them <laughs> <laughs> hey gray's doing this one for larry Ryder right in the background there well you're teaching patrick something a little one nine combo larry's <laughs> looking on judgmentally Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> Wish we had a Larry cam. That'd be great. He waved. My day has been made. So Patrick says, well, my wife didn't know what that meant. Mason, you started all this, by the way. Yeah. Just Googled it. Who comes up with this stuff? Cardi B. Cardi B. Sounds like a heart attack. <laughs> wow. Went in. Well, that's an early game. I mean, that's nine ball. You know, what are you going to do? Rack them up. So we got some player profile action going on here. We got Kendall. 
Fargo, 623, 51, lives in Menasha, shoots with a pea shower custom Q shaft, the pea shower rogue, which is a really great carbon mm-hmm. shaft. He shoots with the La Pro hard, which is an old school. That's original gangster right there. Yeah. He's been playing for 35 years. Loves nine ball. His Johnny favorite player. Johnny Archer. Oh, who? Yeah. I mean, Johnny Archer's got to be in the top five, three for everybody. Oh, he was a treat when he was here, too. Just a good guy. Nice, nice, uh, nice for the sport, man. Gave everybody attention. Yeah, it was amazing. Him and Earl were here. And they, they kind of go on exhibition yeah. together. And um, I really enjoyed talking to Johnny. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite is all of the pictures. Um, everybody got a got a, a picture with Earl and Johnny. Yep. Johnny's like right next to him, arm over the shoulder. Yeah. Earl's like a foot and a half. Foot and a half away. To the side with his mask on. Three masks. But, a th- you know. A, th- a thumbs up, maybe. Yeah. If he liked you. That was at the height of the pandemic. Yeah, we'll give him that. Yeah. Yeah. And I loved I loved hearing him talk about how crazy Wisconsin was. He's like, none of you are wearing, wearing masks. <laughs> yeah. Well, what are you going to do, you know? Yeah. I respect it. I do. I do. It, yeah. I, I mean, it is. It is, you know, it, it's one of those things. Yeah. We definitely don't want to go there. So Gray, on the other hand, is Fargo 637, is 36 years old from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He shoots with a Mark C. Q, which is his father, custom Q. He shoots with a Jacoby Black Shaft. I believe that comes with a Kamui Super Soft stock. Oh, he says right here, uh, Kamui Black Soft. Uh, years playing, 13 years. His favorite game is eight ball. Favorite player is Earl. Speak of Earl and Johnny. Uh, and his dad. Can't miss that. Great cra- uh, graphic design. Great. Uh, <laughs> you're never going to let that go. Mm-mm. It's like MH and U. Yeah. With the I know, English I accent. Yeah. It becomes worse, too, because I work with MH, like, every day, and then it, like... He's so fun to make fun of, though. It's it's even better than me. <laughs> he he kind of just, like, dry humors you and acts like he doesn't understand. Oh, yeah. Makes He's it even best. better. He's yeah. the best, yeah. Really is. Yeah. MH is enjoying some time off. Yeah. They're uh, watching... Baseball? Is that what's going on? Baseball. Where are they? Boston or something like that? Yeah. Doing something. Yeah. You know how it is. Well, there you go, Patrick. We're here to teach. It's like a Sunday special for you. Al Jordan, nice shot by Gray. That's not his first. It was a great shot. It really was. You know, I was wondering if the nine ball was going to get in the way here. I think he got just far enough. Yeah, I think he did. Drops a seven. Keeps the cue ball under control with a nice angle to go. Two, maybe even three to slow it down. Nine ball on the upper left. Yep, good speed. No risk of the scratch. It was going right for it. You know how many times I overhit those? Mm -hmm. Well, 15 to nine in a race to 20 in today's King of the Hill battle. 500 in the middle, two person tournament. Frog will be back next week, as far as I know. And we'll challenge whoever wins here tonight. Take a look at the pool room. You can see Gray's wife. All the fans in the bleachers. Yeah. Sitting there, like a little nervous, cheering them on, making sure all the shots go in. She's clapping and watching every single shot 
Who do we got in the background here? Fongy over there. Yep, you can see Fong with his salmon shirt. He Caden, not only Caden Hillman. Yeah, Caden. Is he still playing him? What is it? A race to a hundred? <laughs> Must be a long race. Yeah. Because there was, you know, it was a little short today. I guess I should switch back to the game. Yeah. Let's take a look at the table. Kendall's up for the shot. He's looking at the two ball. A thin snick on the two. It's going to be. Hey, can't complain. You know, sometimes you need a roll to get yourself back in gear. This might be exactly what quick fire needed. Slow rolls the two in, leaves himself a little angle on the three. Got to take what the table gives you. Maybe go back and forth for the five. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Probably the safe way to go. That was the risky way. Oh. Worked out. We're going to see some more. Does he use a ton of inside for this? I think center ball kind of gets you there. I, you know, I like it. He slowed down a little bit. Just dropped the ball. Well, I shouldn't say drop the ball. <laughs> Made the ball, pocketed the ball, potted the ball. David Dahl, Earl is entertaining, even when I was directing a tournament in Milwaukee and quit in the finals. You know, <laughs> he keeps things exciting, you know? Yeah, you know, I've heard stories where he would uh, break his cue. And he, then, he'd, and then he'd ask the crowd if anybody had a cue to borrow. You know, and he'd borrow the queue and then he'd break it. Oh, man. But then he'd probably buy you a new one, right? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, Earl's got to be a millionaire by now, right? Yeah, All I those sponsorships. Mark Bell saying, don't forget the 599 and under August 6th. Doors will open at 7 a.m. August yep, we serve, 6th. We serve breakfast. We got a great breakfast here. And, uh,. Yeah, sign up for that. You can sign up at madapplebilliards.com under the events tab. Well, you know, I'm excited wow. for it. Nice thin cut there. He just barely avoided that scratch. And he'll like to see himself get to 10 games here if he does get this nine down. No problems, and now he's within five, which is kind of, I think, about as close as he's gotten. I think this might be it. This might be Kendall's chance. Five more, and it's tied. What do you think? I, I think now's the time. I was going to say earlier... Uh, to see Gray get past 15 is detrimental towards uh, quick fire's chances here. But Yeah, Kelly says she's heard that story. Uh, asked if he was pl playing Corey Duell. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I, I do know that I've heard that He's story at least. He's probably broken sure. a cue playing everybody. Yeah, you know? but to, to grab the... Uh, an audience member's cue and then break that is next level. I mean, how do you do that? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's got to be rough. Kind of funny, not going to lie, but hopefully he, like, you know, corrected his mistake there. Well, it's a little tricky on the one. Yeah, and he overcut it there. He undersnicked it. Yeah. <laughs> o Oversnicked it? Oversnicked, yeah, yeah. I'll get it. And he he didn't quite uh, leave himself great on the two ball anyway. So, you know, maybe he would have went for that combo. but. Thank you, Mark, for the like. Do appreciate it. And if I missed anything else, anybody else... Feel free to head over to YouTube, like and subscribe, hit the bell. We're trying to push out quality video 
HD, high definition, uh, re you know, remakes as far as highlight reels. Yeah, it's been a great job. You've done a great job. I love to see the uh, re-uploads. I think those are all, all so great. I mean, it's nice to see it in full HD. Yeah. You know, because what you're seeing now is a live stream. And it's not the highest quality setting for a lot of reasons. You know, if we go 4K or something, people can't watch it on their phones. It lags. Maybe people don't have a good internet connection. But when we do the re-uploads, you know, you can watch it on YouTube, cast it to your TV, set that setting way up, and you can see the reflection in the balls. Ooh, another thin snake. Mark Tinkerbell. I do remember that from someone. Who's Someone gave Mark a nickname. It might have been Kendall. No, I don't think so. I forgot the two. One was Tinkerbell, which is not my favorite. Hey, Gustav, do you remember the other one? Because I don't. You know, this is a tough shot, though. He's going to have to come with some uh, solid aiming. Thank you for the like, Kevin. Ah, David said it was Corey. Earl was complaining about the racking. Scott Smith was racking. That sounds about right. We typically see pros complaining about the racks quite a bit. Wow. This four ball just doesn't want to go down here. And he left him another tough shot. It's a little closer. But it's not a shot I want to start with. But it is an opportunity. you got to be excited to get it. Overcut it. Still left it okay. Probably looking at a bank here. If he chooses to go offensive... Yep. He's kind of laying it out as maybe a combo. It's a little tricky. What would you shoot here, Mason? There's something telling me bank, but I can't quite pick up on the screen what's telling me banking. It's got to be a the, bank. The bank the ball, I think, maybe? You got a bank. 500 added, 32 player max. I'd probably bank at the four wall here. Saturday, August 13th. You can sign up at mattapplebilliards.com. That was a close shot on the combo. I got to give it to him. It says semifinals and finals will be streamed. Nice. Karam's in the seven. Almost makes the four on the side. Leaves a tricky shot on this four, though. And Mark, on the six, we got to say, I think we've already said it a couple of times, Mark, but it's a five ninety nine and under. Um, I think you got to sign up also on Matt Apple. Yes, billiards.com. Billiards .com. Events tab. Events tab. Pick the tournament you're interested in. You can sign up, prepay, lock your spot in, lock your Fargo rate. If it is a cap tournament, the bank is not. That's an open. You know, I think he came out okay on this yeah, one. Yeah, that's a good roll yeah, there. He needed that. You don't want to let Gray get too far ahead. That might be the roll for Kendall. Yeah, it's a little tricky. I don't he's gonna have to kick at it. Mike Gaines, appreciate it, man. He's got the stream going at the carom room. 
Sweet. That is awesome. That is really cool. And we'll see you Sunday. Yes, sir. Big smooth. Big smooth and little smooth. I don't know. What's TK's nickname? TK. Yeah. Just TK. That's it. That's all you need to know. He's the Oracle. I like it. I like it. I gave him that nickname. Because he would always tell me. I'd miss a shot, and I'd sit down, and I'd be all mm-hmm. pissed off. And he'd be like, oh, you'll get back up. Don't worry. Yeah, he does. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's got four balls. <laughs> and then the guy shoots, snookers himself, and he's like, see? <laughs> and just stares at me. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but he's done it so many times. Like, he sees what may be the problem. Right. Not seeing too many problems here for Gray, though. Yep, just rolls it up for the nine. Down the rail, good speed. Pockets the nine. That makes it 16 to 10. Is that 16 shots at Scafidi's? Wow. For everybody sitting at the bar, I heard that was the deal. Don't quote me. Don't send me a bill. That's just what I've heard. All right. Great a break. Oh, he lost the cue ball. Difficult shot on the one. We'll take a look at the overhead. Brought to us by Popalock. Popalock. Popalock Locksmith. And Clarion. So what is what is he looking at? A uh, nipple kick? I love that the <laughs> that the one ball is the O in choice. It really is. It's perfect. You know, I think that gives Kendall an opportunity. It did come away from the rail a little more than I thought it would, but this is gonna be a tricky view. This will work. Jumps it. Oh. Right in. Great shot. I believe the five's wired. A lot of curve there on the cue ball draw stroke with that jump shot. I mean, perfect position. It's great. How's your blue bobber? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Is it getting warm on you? Yeah. You know, the best part was the blueberries were frozen, so it kind of keeps it cold. You know, I saw him kind of twist on that. Mm -hmm. He twisted a little bit. Came up a little short. That was just like one of those things where he missed the shot and then out of coincidence, randomly, a group of people are cheering. Yeah. Like woo! Oh yeah, they're uh, they're really excited back there playing darts. Yeah, no, they're gambling, man. Hey, they're having a good time. Friday night. Oh yeah. Maybe they got the weekend off. And so gray on the three. Maybe a little inside. shot was a nice shot leaves them nice and clean for the seven yeah he's thinking well how what am i gonna do with the eight what would you do with this eight i definitely wouldn't be lining up for the side yeah it's kind of in a weird spot here 
I like the side pocket. I don't yeah. mind the side. Wow. Beautiful shape. Yeah, it's great. Nice angle. Roll up for the nine. Keeps it simple. This should bring gray to 17. Let's see what we got here. Well, Fong's still over there playing the same game. Oh, who's he playing? He's playing Jay. Mr. Blue Bobber himself. <laughs> All right, great a break. Score is 17 to 10 and a race to 20. And that lonely nine footer in the background still. It's waiting for you. It's waiting for you. You know, great break, but nothing dropped. <laughs> well, I got to find a different. I can't say great anymore. You ruined it for me, Mason. <laughs> So what are we looking at here? Um, should be a push out. I mean, there is a there is a door there. There's a window, right? There's there's an avenue. <laughs> but I think <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm definitely pushing out, and I, I do believe Kendall is seeing that as well. Hmm. Left him on off the rail. I'm taking this all day. I don't know about you, Mason. Yeah. He's giving it back? He gave it back. Mike Gaines. What do you mean, not me? He's going for the jump, Massa, here. You're going to be here Sunday. You won last week. Wow. Nice shot. Amazing shot. Great shot. Patrick Glenn says, TK, telekinesis. Abilities on the table. His nickname should reflect. What are you, Yoda? Look, I got the official stamp from Mark with the great. So I think I did something here. I think you did. I mean, I think it's really going to catch on. I'm looking forward to it next week as well. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mark S. Hey, not so quick. So is that, uh, I didn't read the whole thing, but I'm assuming that's his dad. I think so. Great shooting. <laughs> Spelt G-R-E-Y-T. Yes. Was at the Mad Apple for Gray's last match. Pleasantly surprised. Best pool bar in the North Woods. Probably the Midwest. Darren Appleton said it was the best pool hall he's ever seen. In the USA, uh, yeah. Yeah, in the world. I think he said the world. Wow, did we just see that shot? That was amazing. This is great. Hit the orange button. Done. Great stuff and food. Great staff and food. Uh, you need to check this place out. You do. We do appreciate it, Mark. A lot of people are golfing, but the tournaments three times a week fill up. Leagues are going. Fall leagues are about to start if anybody's interested. We got like three person Tuesday. We got Wednesday. We got Thursday. Day on Wednesday. Plus, I think there's a day Monday. All sanctioned leagues for BCA, ACS, WSPA. By the way, WSPA will be in Appleton this year again. And, and what's the big news here? The big news is it's going to be singles. No. What, what is the big news? You don't know? I don't know. Diamond tables? Oh, yeah. I forgot what what date. Uh, November-ish? Oh, I don't know. There's going to be all new... No. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. 
the diamond tables at WSBA. Yeah, man. All right, all right. I got you. So they're going to finally get rid of those valleys that they've been carving all, around. All of our complaints for years have, have apparently worked. I like them. You like valleys? I mean, it was, a, it was kind of a change of pace, you know? Big old pockets. Can't make anything on the side. It's like it's kind of funny you can't play the game that you normally would. Yeah, like it changes things up a little bit, you know? It's kind of funny you can't prepare at all. All, all your banks are long. Nothing works. Because every table shoots like it's in a different state. <laughs> all right. I think we feel what you're laying down here, Mason. So <laughs> I'm excited. That's all I can say. <laughs> this year is announced. Thank you, Dean. They're replacing <laughs> all the valley tables with diamond tables. That's really good news. Yes. For most of us. Apparently, Chris is disappointed. But I, don't I don't mind know. either way. I mean, if I want to play on Valley, I can still play ACS. <laughs> I'm like, about that. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. They're changing to Predator. <laughs> yeah. No, who knows? That was, a, that was a pretty good shot. Left himself nice on the nine. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> going to say Was there any it. other word you want to say? That was a beautiful shot. And <laughs> excellent shape. Well, you know, I feel like Kendall's getting a chance every rack, and and it's just not working out. So, along those lines with the diamond tables, um, Matt Apple is also getting new diamond tables. Yes, yes we are. All of them. Yeah. All of them are getting replaced in a couple of months. Yeah, Let's just throw October-ish, that november October, November. -ish. So that's going to be really, really cool. I'm assuming they all come with Simonis cloth by default. Hopefully. Definitely. That would be good. And uh, one of the coolest parts is we're going to get two new nine foot what? diamond tables. No way. And we're going to have four diamond nine foot pool tables in back that's what i'm talking about and we're going to start running tournaments with the pros on the nine foot that's the way it should be and then a big open event on the bar boxes nice and we've done that before where we run dual tournaments yeah but this is going to be next level because four will be enough to run one pocket tournaments and oh yeah and i mean you can have eight eight pros playing with added money uh, and then if you go well, you two can do, and out, you can do more than that. Like when I go to, like shout out to Rex on the rocks, maybe sixteen. We'll only be one table away from uh, what Rex has got for nine foot, and they run thirty-two player pro events plus. I'm excited to see that. Yeah, I so. think the last time we did that was Barry Chapman put together a tournament where I know you were playing. Tyler Steyer was playing. Um, I don't know. I'm missing a few. Larry Neville. Larry Neville. Uh, per Perone Jr. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm not going to remember everybody. But it was a great tournament. They played on the nine-footers. There was only two, so four is going to make that a lot better. Especially they're going to be new. Oh, Blue yeah. label, nine-foot diamonds, Simona's cloth. Yeah, I am jacked. One piece slate, maybe. Yeah, likely. That'd be awesome. Yep. It's going to be super cool. I might actually start playing on a nine-footer again. I really do miss when it was over here in the front room here. Yeah, I know what you mean. Because I'd run a tournament, and then I'd be able to play on it. Nobody wanted to touch it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I could help it. Kendall brings up another game. I mean, I think he's seeing the score, right? 18. So what do you do? It's time to kick it into gear, right? <laughs> yep. I you, mean. You run them out. Yeah. Or maybe even play defensive if it's a wild shot. Right. Get the ball back. Because I think that Gray's been so used to just getting a shot after a miss. Leave him something tough. Yeah, change it up. Cue ball went flying. Nothing in. 
I don't see a great shot on the one, though. What are you doing here? I think any shot's a great shot if... Uh, no, really, though. What are you doing here? Like, um, from, from a perspective... Of, okay. I think people want to hear your level of, you know... Yeah, you kind of would think you, you might want to go off the right side of it, but that might scratch. So you might decide to go to the left side. As and, far as the And same. you kind of want to clip the eight. Cause it, and, and not hit it too hard, but, like, clip it just so it changes that direction of the one. And then you should be able to lock your cue ball. On one of the sides of it, I think. I see it. Something like that. It's kind of like if you if you hit it at a certain speed too. If you don't exactly get there, the one will at least not be right in front of this pocket. Hopefully not. But. I think that's the goal right there. I mean, I do believe quick fire has an edge. There's not a whole lot of options here, and the one eight now is. An opportunity. Patrick Glenn says, maybe I am Yoda, Chris, but you can call me master. No, you're Mr. Sharpstick. I do believe, yep, ball in hand. Did tie up the 1-8, though. That might turn out to be in Kendall's favor. Uh, Steve says, what pool hall in Wassa are your diamonds going to? Yeah, I heard about that. Um, I think on it's a new one. Isn't well, it? it was a it was an old bar called like Over the Hill or something, and he's changing it to On the Hill, and he, I believe, it's been remodeled, renovated, and he's got a huge open space, and he's gonna have I don't know seven or eight tables in there, diamonds with the new cloth that we have here, probably around the same time that you guys get your new tables. There's going to be like a one-day swap It's going to be a good time. Mike yeah, that's Gain awesome. Another uh, advancement in Wisconsin for pool. Just in Wausau. Or uh, Mosinee. Mosinee. Did I say Wausau? Yeah. Someone, no, see, Steve, it's, uh, it's going to be in Mosinee, not Wausau. And, you know, my memory's just not good. Down the hill, maybe, is what it used to be called. But now it's going to be called On the Hill. And it's in Mosinee. <laughs> <laughs> I do, you know, my memory's not what it used to be. So, you know, someone correct me. We're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you hear that? Can you guys hear? And maybe Schofield's right next to Mosini. I don't know. I'd have to pull up a map. Thank you, Steve McIntosh. What a great name. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. McIntosh. Do appreciate it. Um, I was looking at this. Mike Gaines says, put me down in the one pocket tourney. Well, you know where to go, Mike. When that tourney gets set up and scheduled, you'll go to. Say it with me. MadAppleBilliards.com. Click the event tab. Event tab. Sign up. Sign up. PayPal. Cha-ching. I got nothing. <laughs> this is a great opportunity now for Kendall. I mean, they've been bouncing back and forth on this rack. Here you, comes a nine ball. I'll tell you, you what. You got to go for it. I mean, Larry's watching. Larry's watching. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he's playing. He's playing safe, right? I mean, not safe, but he's playing uh, to run out. You know, if you bump the nine, who knows where it's going to go? Right. Four back to the five combo on the six eight. I like it. Ooh, he cooked it. He cooked it. What is going on? That English really took off for him. He put a, just a touch of left on it. You saw that. There oh, you go. That's wow. And the crowd goes wild for that beautiful safety. Is that a rainfall? It kind of sounded like. No, it's it's applause. Are you telling me I need to get higher quality sound bites? <laughs> Contact Joe Rogan. 
That was a weird scratch. Joe Schneider. You know, speaking of, I uh, was at the uh, was at the laundry mat the other night, and they were playing Fear Factor. Really, the the show with Joe yeah, Rogan. With Joe Rogan. That, yeah. yeah, that was like one of his big things. And I was like, it was a relic, man. I was like, what is this? Well, you know, Get they had to do weird things, right? Like eat snakes and stuff. Yeah, I was shocked that they, you know, it so doesn't fit today's world, does it? But that was a intriguing show. Another beautiful safety by Quickfire. Taking his time a little bit. Thoughtfire. <laughs> 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 Call him Thoughtfire. Thoughtfire. That that has a new meaning in today's world also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Isn't that like Thoughtbot? <laughs> Envelope. So, Gray doesn't have a whole lot here. I think he's going to have to kick long rail, maybe two. You know, honestly, if you go two rails and you hit the six just right, there's a couple of chances that that nine ball is going to get moving. I mean, you definitely don't want to leave him a combo, right? If you give him ball in hand, the 6 nine's going down. Right. I can just see it. Yep, Sandy says, Joshua Todd Holzer owns the bar on the hill where the tables are going. Mosinee is being remodeled now. Mosinee. Very cool. I'll have to check it out when it opens. That's right, Todd. So that confused me because I was calling him Todd. I commentated with him, but his his name is actually Joshua. Like oh, war games. Oh, wow. Did you see how close that was? Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gave it to him. Uh-oh. 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 I'm an excellent driver. So that really should be one game for quick fire and another one for quick fire because Gray conceded the match. But. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think that's going to happen. So, I mean, we didn't really explain the rules because I figured Kendall and Gray know, but. Well, a lot of movement. Ball in hand. I didn't even see that. He must have caught it going to the side. Let's take a look at this layout here. So what are you seeing? One to the two. Come back for the three in the side. And four. then the four. And then the five. Well, I'm just looking at it. I think the only problem, does the five go on the side? So you're going to have to be a little creative with the five to the six. Yeah, but by the time that the one and the three are out, the five goes in five of six pockets. That is true. It does open up quite a bit. And it's kind of like in an okay spot to even shoot the five, seven. Right. Combo. You can take yeah. the combo, let the five roll up. Depending on where you get. I mean, these are both great players. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're not going to be shuffling the deck you know moving a lot of balls around there's a little weird angle on the two though so what do we got here mark bell says naughty i don't know naughty by nature uh, i think uh given the game away oh yes yeah i mean that would have brought kendall uh within five but nobody wants to win like that so yeah i'll take it i would too I'm not proud. That's like that's like my favorite saying. I'm not too proud I'm to not proud. take a game. I mean, a win's a win. You know, you're in a long race for a good prize and pride. Yeah, I'm not proud. Well, you know, that was a shot that continues the run. Well, well said. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So what ball is he going to be going for after this four? Most likely the five, Mason. <laughs> oh, wow. Is 
this that might is be beautiful though. Oh, it like, is. It's yeah. just so Tony. Mm-hmm. Right. Really Tony. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so Tony. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Time for a fresh beverage. That was pretty good, too. It was like Beatboxer. He did that all with his mouth. It wasn't even a... Oh, yeah. I can do it. Oh. Um, man, what is that? I can't even begin to think. So that overhit, overcut, undercut. Pocket speed. <laughs> it's all the options, yeah. <laughs> all right. I did not think. Th- I thought it was just, you know. I didn't even say it. There's no commentator's curse. I was thinking it. You were thinking it. I was thinking it. So is that like Ghostbusters? The first thing you think of? Well, yeah. What did you do, Ray? What did you do? Did you see Ghostbusters? You, you probably weren't even born yet. The original Ghostbusters. I'm a 99 guy. Well, I'll tell you when what. When did Ghostbusters come out of the 80s? I mean, it was, pro- it was probably a little bit before my time, too. Um, but I think I was really young when I saw it, but I want to see it again because I like Bill Murray. Oh, you can't Bill, beat I'm it. I'm a Bill Murray fan. All of them. Yeah, right. Beautiful Dan shot. Aykroyd. Beautiful shot. I can't even remember all the actors, but they're all great. They're Dan all from Aykroyd, when, right? Yeah, yep, Dan Aykroyd. I mean, that was back when Saturday Night Live was good. Right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but it if was. If you're listening. Yeah. Pete Davidson or anybody out there listening. Yeah. Hopefully they're not. We might lose a sponsorship. But anyway, it was with the Stave Puff, uh, Marshmallow Man. So... The goblin was like, the first thing you think of will attack you. Oh, right. it was a three foul ding. On the oh, so they are playing three foul rule. All right, so that was not a conceded match. Thank you, Kendall. I'm, fi- I'm glad we got that taken care of because we were worried about the rules of the concession. We should have known Gray wouldn't do something like that. Yeah, he, he really wouldn't. And especially with your, you know, with Kendall there, who made the rules. <laughs> <laughs> so they they are playing three foul rule. Um, we probably should <laughs> have mentioned that. Yeah, this is <laughs> BCAPL nine ball. I don't for, know about nine ball breaks though. So that you know for the rest of the match. Here. Yeah, yeah. Someone remind me if I forget. Um, I'm glad he brought that up. Rules are rules. We're here to watch a full match. Mark, man, settle. <laughs> Settle down, brother. Roger you know, what, you know what assuming says? Uh, well, you know, as a commentator, you have to assume some things. Or you wouldn't say anything. Profound. Appreciate it. Yeah. Chris G, 2022. Roger. What, why do we say anything? I don't know. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting towards that Ray, uh, every ball is a rail thing that I started with, the Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I'm trying to pull you. Hey, that was a good shot. Yes. Comes back for the three perfectly. Yep, next is the four. Of course the next is the four, but how is he going to get to it? A little bit of bottom left. Brings yep. it back. Now he's going to hit little stun. He's got, he's got a, I mean, he's starting to kind of, I think, get to his zone where it's like, you know, got nothing to lose here. Let's just play the game. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you quick, quick and loose, fast and loose. Keep her rolling. How should I play it, Fats? Derek Justin's got a pink white claw. Must be watching his weight. <laughs> Rog Roger Pregler says eighty four. I don't know what we're talking about, Roger. Eighty four. Nineteen eighty four. That must be yeah. when Ghostbusters came out. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have been like four. Let's go with that. Still a great movie. 
You definitely need to watch I it. I do got to rewatch it. Watch the first two. And then Die Hard. Watch all the Die Hards. <laughs> Patrick Glenn. What do you mean it just popped in there? Exactly. What'd you do, Ray? It's, it, it's a movie thing. It just is what it is. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Roger. I got her. It took me a minute, but I got her. And thank you, Young. Young Train. Glad I found you guys on YouTube. Coming from KC, which I assume is Kansas City. Appreciate you. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Share Tell all your, your friends. Friend, yeah. <laughs> we say on unison. Yeah, we did. Jinx. Well, Gray's definitely thinking about this. It's a lot to be thought about. Let's take a look at the overhead. If I get my protractor out, I do believe he can bank that in the side or play a safe. Safety, he's ready to... He's tightening the grip. Yep. Got to do it. That anaconda... Ooh, that just snicked the eight. It sits right in the pocket for Gray. We're definitely going to see a few balls being run here by Gray. Are there any problems on this table? I mean, I'm not seeing anything glaring that might offer a chance. That's kind of the thing about nine ball. I really don't see so many problems. Right. Hardly ever. That's true. Yeah. At your level, right? It's all about, like, I just got to run out. Yeah. I see all the balls are open. But he didn't get in a great spot here. He f he's almost uh, not going to be able to get to the three. Yeah, it's going to be a little tricky. What do, you, what do you do? Draw straight back? Yeah, power draw, hit the three, maybe the four. Try and just bump it. I mean, you can always play a safe after the two. It's almost the one spot he didn't want to get to. Right it's there. a tough spot. See, this is a this is a little glimmer of hope for the opponent. We'll put on the dual view here with our new sponsor, Erickson Auto Trim. Draws it back, bumps into the three. Didn't get a great roll. Mark Bell says in 84, he was a freshman in high school. And I do believe that was the last year he attended. <laughs> Patrick Glenn says, Mark, in 84, I thought you were a senior citizen. Oh, that's a low blow, man. Junk said it would be fine on a valley. A lot of these shots would be fine on a valley, but the problem with the valley is you gotta you gotta deal with the shape, and the shape is so much tougher. So, is it easier, or is it harder? I mean, I guess if all you do is play on valleys, you're used to it. All right, we got a jump shot here. Off the table. <laughs> Ball in hand for Gray on the hill. This is about the worst situation. Yeah, it's a great opportunity for uh, this. For him seriously, to run out here. a great opportunity for Gray. And we greatly appreciate all of you who have tuned in. Tons of views. I know there's some other matches going on in the area, and we do appreciate that you guys came here. We put a lot of time and effort into this. The OG. 
The OG Chris G putting in the work here. We're trying, and you know, I mean, you learn from each step. You rebuild. The cameras are new. The systems are new. All the way down to the automated scoreboard. Man, isn't it so? Remember when you have to? You used to have to keep score. Yeah. Have you have you ever like uh, horrible? Looked to at least the furthest video away from what we have our hands on and just see the the differences, the changes. Yeah. yeah, it's wild. I mean, I remember, you know, I w- I was on the first commentary. You were for uh, Matt Apple Extreme, and yeah, I remember that. Uh, Jay gave me a chance to commentate mm-hmm. as well, and uh, I was nervous. I didn't like it. Yeah, and I just remember the build up and I mean we were commentating and there was no plexiglass. Yeah. We had to whisper. You couldn't eat in the booth either. Well, we I mean at the start start though, we had to we had to whisper like it was, you know. Well, there was different mics, yeah. um different cameras. I mean, we started on a on a cell phone actually. Right. Like a Nokia. Yeah. Like those nuclear phones. Back and forth. And while we're talking, I didn't even realize uh, Quickfire's got another chance here. He does. Yeah, so Gray snookered himself, tried to kick, gave up a good opportunity. We're still in it, Within ladies six. and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bringing up the energy. Kendall wins. Is it 14 or 15? Can't, I can't 14, tell. 14. So it's 19-14 in a race to 20. Uh, both of these players, entry fee 250, 500 in the middle, two-person tournament. Matt Appleberger and Billiard. King of the Hill. This is our Friday King of the Hill. We do it every Friday, 730 Central. Uh, Sunday we'll do the Queen of the Hill. Yeah. Oh, that's a bad oh, roll. Oh, and... The worst part is it leaves the one nine, doesn't it? No. What are the odds? Do you think Gray's going to take it? Yeah. I'd probably set it up and then then shoot, then run it out. No, if the two the two is not makeable, right? right. So you have to shoot. Yeah, this. you, you shoot have this. to. This is the shot. Great choice. Yeah. Well, there it is. Yep. We've got another victory by Gray. He'll be back next week. And we'll finish with a soothing rainstorm for you. (laughs) It's like rain in the background. What is it? uh, Like ASMR? Listen to the rain and listen to my voice. Thank you for another edition of Mad Apple Extreme. Yeah, we do appreciate everybody that's joined. Um, You know, we love to see Hill Hill matches. It didn't go that way tonight. Gray will take on Frog, most likely, next Friday. Frog was... The Gray Frog? Yeah, it'll be the Gray Frog match this Friday, 7.30. Also, keep a lookout. If you go to YouTube, subscribe. Hit the bell, the Mark Bell. And uh, we'll be doing the King's Court on Sunday. That'll be the Queen of the Hill at 11 a.m. And then we'll have the Jesters at 1.30 and the Knights dueling at 4.30. Yeah, and a really good lineup. You know, we always have uh, good lineups on Sunday, but I'm looking forward to this week. Oh, it's going to be great. I can't wait to watch Mike and TK Mm -hmm. battle it out at 1.30 on Sunday because TK, friends... Friends of everybody in this pool hall. Been around forever. Super friendly. Definitely. Um, I'm looking for someone to possibly take Mike Gaines down since he's won like nine. Whoo, someone's got to win, right? I mean, these guys are actually really close, too. They're right at the edge of yeah. the 500. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be a good time. Yeah, big smooth. Big smooth and TK. So on that note... Thank you, Mason, the Stone Mason. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate you. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of great fun. Great fun. Great fun. Thank you. We're getting thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, Did we get the high five? You got to tell them. 
Yeah. Uh, they ain't looking. There's, there they are. So um, thanks, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. 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 And we're out. I think we're gonna we're gonna bring Gray up here for a post game interview. All right, here we are. Oh yeah, you can pop the pop the headset on there. All right, and uh, you've got tons of people in chat. And we lost a lot of viewers because we said we were done. So, I don't know. Maybe your family stuck around. Got the camera here. Got the booth here. Um, I'm in the booth with Gray Seek. Hello, everybody. And he just won. And how many times did you win last time? Uh, this is my second win out of three matches. Second some- win out of three matches. So, you won the first one. Won the first one. Came back, lost. Yep, Scott kick my ass pretty good scott cohen well yeah scott's really 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 on his game right now and then today you came in and uh played kendall and you did very well you you shot great there wasn't a whole lot of slop there weren't a whole lot of rolls i feel like you had good control over your your shot selection um i think i think kendall missed a couple critical shots that he normally doesn't rattle and gave me some short racks a couple nine ball combos shout out to my wife taylor for i think she's saying y- either a shout out or talking to the mic a little closer i can't tell she's doing something with her fist in her hand i don't, I don't know what is going on over there did uh chumpy dumper or no Tom bungler make an appearance no i think we just had one guy because uh, he's out he's out camping right so he doesn't have all the technology available to himself um mm. but he did make an appearance and he said a few things um, it's actually the chat's been pretty quiet tonight. That's I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you know, good viewership, definitely good viewership, and it was a great match. Yeah, it was uh, a lot of fun. You're going to be back next week. Uh, John Frog will be back. Next yeah, week? it should be. Uh, you know, John Sonnentag, uh, Frog. He should be back. Getting the thumbs up from Mason. So. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. He's playing phenomenal right now. So. Oh yeah, I mean, be. he just it's so loose. Uh, just feels natural on the table. Yeah, just firing at everything. Well, if you want, you can say hi to any of your fr- friends or family out there. Um, otherwise, hey, congratulations. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, I appreciate the support from everybody. It's like the coolest thing to do right now. <laughs> I look forward to this big time. Yep. Tom, I, Tom, Tom's here. Tom Is he Bonos. your buddy? Yeah. He says, still here, bro. Great shooting. What's up, buddy? Tom, call me right now, actually, if you don't mind. Yeah, we'll put you on speakerphone, as long as you don't, uh, is is that Chunky Bungler or whatever his name is? Chunky Dumper? Yeah, one of those one of those two names. And of course we get hit with the spam bot right at the end. Don't click any of those links, people. What does that mean? Eh, you know, when you got a stream that starts getting tons of people watching, then the spammers come in and they start spamming things oh, in the yep. chat and stuff like him. that it's uh it's a little sad what are you gonna do gone so you wanted tom to call you is he calling you hey it, there is a little bit of a delay oh look at that man you, all your fans you got two thousand facebook messages <laughs> fred renner you're welcome man you're welcome no that was fun i really appreciate the the hotel stay and just getting away from 
the fam for a little bit, and we have a three-year-old son, so we leave him at home with the grandparents. Oh, and, that's nice. Oh, it's nice for yeah. Taylor and I to get away for a Right. Three-year-old will have fun. The grandparents will have fun. You guys will have fun. You're going to hit the saltwater pool, maybe the hot tub. If it's still open, we probably will. Oh, yeah. Well, we won't hold you up then. We'll let you get into that hot tub. Relax. Enjoy the win. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks for commentating. I'll not a problem. I'll see you next week. Yep, next Friday. I might not be up here, but I'll be here to see it. So Awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks, buddy. Mm-hmm.